Gather up their colors. We'll use them to disguise our ship. You heard him, boys. Haul in the flags and we'll hoist them up. All right, Mr. Faulkner. I forgot how a good sea battle could get my blood flowing. Sail around attacking ships. That's the life. <laughs> I know that feeling. It seems to run in my family. Your father was a seafarer then? My grandfather, Edward. He sailed with a rough crew. Or so I am told. For the king? For himself. But that is a long tale for another day, Mr. Faulkner. Men dream. But dreams hold no value here. What was first the bright light of hope? Has turned into a long night of captivity. Lost in the dark. We surrender our minds and forget who we are. But some of us have woken up. that we all have a choice. To stand, not kneel. To oppose, not obey. To live, not just exist. Have you ever been disrespected? Forced to follow orders. Would you rather defy your masters and live by the creed of pirates? Are you ready to fight for the freedom to act as you wish? Calling all men of fortune, willing to pledge allegiance to no one. Calling all who are ready to defy. I'll give you Blackbeard's honest opinion. You ask me, can this new captain promise you a life of prizes, plunder, and adventure? Aye. For amongst all the gentlemen of fortune sailing these West Indies, he ranks amongst the most clever. There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. But this man is a fearsome dog that feeds off trouble and turmoil. I seen him clear the deck of a Spanish galleon like it were nothing. Fighting like a devil, dressed as a man. And he's a canny one. Knows his way round every crag and crevice of these islands. So if his fortune and adventure you seek, and Captain Edward Kenway's your man. Only, don't meddle in his private affairs. For there's more mystery of that man than even I dare ask. Edward, privateering. Is it dangerous? <laughs> we are not men meant to govern. We take and spend and live heartily wherever we go. We're moments away from the grandest prize of all. 
10,000 times above what we could pull off any Spanish ship. That ain't a fortune. It's a fantasy. To fight beside a man so driven by personal gain and glory is a hard thing, Edward. If you continue on your present course, they'll find you're the only one walking it. The men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Be hanged by the neck until dead. When I turn around, there's not a man or woman that I love left standing beside me. This will be your fate if you fail to cooperate. I will choose a new path, but I will never cooperate with those bastards. Welcome, my peoples. Let me get this volume up here real quick. I'm so mad. I'm looking at the trophies for this game. Oh, let me get the chat up, actually. I'm looking at the trophies for this game, and it, it infuriates me, because... I have 92% earned, and I'm looking at the list here. I have everything in the campaign, except one. The only thing I'm missing is this. No, where is it? Uh, it's around here. I saw it. Wait, do I have everything? Yeah, look. Complete 100% of all main mission constraint. That's all I'm missing, which is easy. I just have to go through the sequences and do all the bonus stuff. All the other stuff I'm missing, I'm never going to be able to get. It's all multiplayer, man. I hate multiplayer trophies. Reach level 55 in multiplayer. Complete discovery mode of Wolfpack in multiplayer. Play on every game mode and use every ability in ranged weapon. What? See, that's easy. That I might be able to do, but like... I don't... Complete discovery mode of Wolfpack. I don't even know what that is. And then reach level 55 in multiplayer. There's no way. Like, I don't think anyone plays this anymore. Making tacos for dinner. Nice. Very nice. You can never go wrong with tacos. We usually do tacos on Tuesdays. Because, <laughs> coincidentally, it happens to be Taco Tuesday. See, look. We got a legendary ship in our in our vision here. I think I'm going to go for it. That's going to be our first legendary ship battle. Uh, I might be... I upgraded my armor. It's advanced now. I only have, like, one or two upgrades left on the armor, so... Oh, shit. It's a level 75 ship. I don't... Ooh, I don't know if I can... Ta Let's try it. I I don't know if I can take it. <laughs> but we're going to go for it. Joe, welcome. 60 men all off to see all of them drunk except for me. What brand of tacos do you use? I don't know. I just grab whatever. What, uh, whatever's, whatever's like buy one, get one usually at Publix. Oh, man. I Man, this is a bad idea. I want that ship, though. I gotta do it. Look at that little tiny gunboat here. Oh, no. Will this be a fatality? Come on. No, that's not fair. It was it was turned around. Now it's coming right at me. This sucks. All right, no, we can do this. El, el Impoluto. Oh! <laughs> okay. This thing is a monster. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. It's literally a monstrosity. Look how fast he's going. <laughs> what have I done? Just pepper and mortar fire? Yeah, well, it moves fast as hell. And I don't have that many mortar shells. I only have four. It's gonna laugh it off. Oh, 
All right, maybe. Uh, I gotta upgrade my cannons too. Maybe you just wear it down slowly. <laughs> Why that armor is not? He's not feeling shit. That armor is not feeling my attacks. I I'm too early. I need better cannons. I need better everything. We're, we're gonna smash right into him. Let's go. Oh, he's got the same idea. It's head on collision. One more direct hit. I regret my actions. I very much regret my actions. I at least need uh, more powerful cannons. Holy shit. Yeah, you see my hits? <laughs> the, the crew's over there just laughing as they're getting peppered. They're like, haha, we feel nothing. The legendary ships in Rogue are fucking nightmare. Yeah. You getting the whole bitch clap? Oh, I'm absolutely getting clapped right now. There, there's no chance I have a victory in this battle right now. The, I gave it like a full barrage, and it was like a little, little dot of health that went away. They're just over there like, oh, that's so cute. We'll take down some forts after I die, because I'm, I'm, my ship is absolutely going down right now. Oh, no. Oh! <laughs> nope. Can't do it yet. Way too early. He messed me up, man. He messed me up. Guy tapping on the shoulder here, Jerry. Get a load of this dumbass. Yeah, there's no way. I'll, I'll see you later, legendary ship. I'm not ready for you yet, but I, I, I will be back. I promise. In the meantime, what we're gonna do? We're gonna, we're gonna take out some of these, some of these here forts. Because I am strong enough to take some of these down. Fast travel unavailable. Oh, that's kind of. That's because I gotta get the hell out of here. I, I'm getting away from that nightmare of a ship. Fuck that thing. Might as well have been, like, leveled a thousand. He's literally invincible right now. <clears throat> no, I'm done. Peace. Here, here let, let's sing, lads. Let's sing. That was crazy. I, I really thought I was going to have a chance, at least. But, like, the second he ran into me full speed, and, like, over half my health just, boom, plummeted. Nope. <laughs> Forget it. You're done, son. It's fastest way. Here, let's take out this one. Because we're, like, right next to it. Why am I still... I still can't fast travel? I think it's all the way... That monster's all the way over there. Oh, by the way, a little bit of change in schedule for next week for streaming. No stream on Monday. It's my son's birthday. So we're going to go uh, Wednesday to uh, Tuesday. Legend of Dragoon's going to be Tuesday. You didn't hunt down any sea shanty? I actually, Rogue Dragon, actually, I hunted down a ton of different sea shanties. I was playing for hours earlier just collecting things. So, yes, I have a ton of new shanties. But it's not letting me do anything. It can't be because the legendary ship's over there. That's, like, hella far away. I just need to get far away from this area. See, no, this, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta turn around. Yeah, we gotta get far. Yeah, exactly, actually, with the nerd glasses, I actually... This white whale. Oh, white whale. Where? Oh, right here. Oh, let's get that whale. White whale is actually kind of hard to get. It's funny, too, because, like, they're so strong. The white whale. Like, I, I remember when I first got this game, they were such a rare sight. 
I remember, like, me and my friends would, like, share locations. We'd be like, yo, go to this part of the ocean. There's a white whale. We'd go. We wouldn't find it. And now, I feel like they pop up all the time now. But, yeah, they're, uh, they're big and they hurt you. Oh, now they want to sing. There she blows. The See, the key was that they had to, uh, recover from that ass whooping first. Ready the whale boat, lads. But yeah, multiplayer, because that's the most celebrated aspect of AC, yeah. I was just saying at the beginning of the stream, I don't know if you were here yet, but I was talking about, I was looking at the trophies. I only have one trophy left of the campaign, which is just like the bonus objectives you have to do. Um, otherwise, I would have 100% in this game, except for multiplayer. Like, reach level 55 multiplayer, I'm never going to get that. Nobody plays this online. <laughs> And I never really got See to that, that so it's annoying. I hate that. How's the game audio, by the way? Are we good? Game is coming on See, this motherfucker, you gotta, like... It's a hit. You gotta stop his hits. Because he'll take out your boat. And I don't have the armor upgraded all the way. Where are you, you bastard? You bust. Uh, he's coming up. Hold fast! Secure the Go! Okay. Alright, I think I got He's him. A slippery bastard. I just realized they ripped off RE4 boss fight for this. Oh, for sure. Good yeah, day, when I first played this, I thought of Resident Evil 4 immediately. See that, lads? <laughs> it's definitely the, uh, what's the big fish called? Uh, Del Lago. This is the Del Lago ah, fight. Yes. That that yeah, it's exactly like this. Like <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a good template for it, though. I haven't taken damage yet, at least, thankfully. Yesterday, I was trying to catch one of these, and it killed me. Damn, man, I only have 15 harpoons left? This beast is strong, man. Fuck, do I even have enough to kill it? I can't miss. He don't like that. It's a hit. There she blows. Give him the iron one more time. That tail's nice coming. One. Yes, I think We're I got it. Now. Barely. The whale hunting pissed off PETA and others back when it came out. Yeah, well, you know what? It's fiction. It's a video game. We're not really hunting whales. People are idiots. Erica, welcome. Yeah, the PETA's getting bad over. Yeah, real whale hunting is it, it, pretty barbaric. This is a video game. It's not real. All right. People need to calm down. Uh, yeah, right here. Actually, you know what? Let's do. Yeah, we'll go here. Because we'll, we'll do this level two. And then we'll take out that other one right there. And I should be able to fast travel now. I like the minigame in the captain's quarter. I know. I get obsessed with it. Uh,. Where you basically, um, I, I love uh, making all the routes safe. It takes forever, but it's so satisfying where it's all green. And then I just send out all my ships to go deliver coffee and tobacco and all that. And then a couple hours later, they come back and I'm, like, I'm filthy rich again. It's actually a fun minigame. I like it. I remember Assassin's Creed Liberation tried to do something like that, but I didn't understand it. It was boring. I did get a, what would you do with a drunken sailor? I have that shanty. I found it. I think I found it in Kingston. Still irks me that you never go below deck on your own ship for the whole game. Oh, that's true. I guess they couldn't think of a reason to. I get, like, what purpose would it serve? I don't know. Here it goes. I love it. Hopefully my mortar can hit it from here. I'm coming. Tonight we're spreading terror throughout the Caribbean. And we should be able to take out most of these forts. I think I'm strong enough. You got Spanish ladies? Yes, I do. And I have the Save them to Cuba or whatever. I have that song also. It's a good one. Is 
See, look at this. The terror of the Jackdaw in full effect. Turn! Uh-oh. Big ship. Big ship. Is that a man of war? No, it's a frigate. I captured two man of war and now I, I'm, I'm filled. Like, my fleet has, is, is filled already. They're all man of wars. You know, it'd be cool if you could actually call your fleet to help you in battles. I, I think that you should have... Uh, had this game been made now, they probably would have had a mechanic like that. Where at any, it's like the ships you capture aren't just for the minigame, you know? That would have been fun. Now, why do my cannons are so weak? I upgraded them once. I mean, it is a level 2 port, though. I gotta turn, man. Oh, leave these assholes. Oh, these are coming right at me, too. I gotta move. Well, who do you think you are? Come here. Shooting at me when I'm not even paying attention to you. See, this is why their boats sink. Because they don't know how to mind their own damn business. This is bigger than you, alright? Do another mortar. Should be enough. Almost. Almost. Da! I love how you have your cannons rate of fire set to full auto. I got machine gun cannons. <laughs> I, I have turrets, alright? Literally with machine gun turrets or cannons. Alright. Couldn't you get, um... What's in this game where you can get different types of cannonballs? I thought... Could you get, like, fire cannonballs or something? I don't know if I'm thinking about this one or another Assassin's Creed. Oh, come on, man. They have nothing left. I really need to get more mortar. Taku, welcome. Welcome to, uh... Oh, you missed it at the beginning. I went straight for a legendary ship over by Florida. Got my ass handed to me. Like, <laughs> the thing was going, like, 100 miles an hour after my ass. And my cannonballs were like mosquito bites this monster. I had no chance whatsoever. Well, yeah, you know what? A for effort, though. You have the grape shots and the chain balls? What am I thinking about, then? Maybe it was Odyssey. No, you know what? In Odyssey, you can have fire arrows. That's what it was. And you can have that flamethrower, which is cool. I wish I could have a flamethrower. The, the Greek fire, I think it was. Alright. Sucks for you, Mirage October 12th. I know, right? I told my fiance about that. I was like, oh, we gotta cancel our honeymoon. Because Assassin's Creed comes out the day before, and she's like, well, you can cancel. I'm going. <laughs> Fuck! I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be thinking about it the whole trip. I need it. I need it. All right, let's get this for it. And we gotta follow the rules of shooting the guy in the head because he was shooting at me, and I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that at all. I'm on fire! Oh come on! The hell do I get up there? Just let me in. That's a northwestern ship, right? Yep. <laughs> that that is very much the ship in the northwest. I went, I saw it on the map, and I went right towards it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess it up. Nope. I in fact did not mess it up. It devastated me. Like I got maybe close to like a quarter of its health down. Oh shit! Wait a minute. I don't have anything equipped. No wonder. I messed up. Yeah, but he, he annihilated me. I, like, I had zero... There was literally zero chance of me me destroying it. Did you buy the Outrider outfit? No, I haven't booted up the game yet. I need to do that, though.
Gameplay looks like Unity and Syndicate. The map is going to be about that same size, too. So, a bit smaller than what we have now. Makes sense, though, because it's, it's mainly focused in Baghdad and Iraq. It's going to be, like, the major portion of the game. Stab! Stab! We're going to help the assassins today, too, a little bit. I want to do some of the Templar hunts. God, this game's so good. Don't snipe. Don't. I gotta upgrade all my stuff. I need to hunt some animals. Chest. There's the other chest. That's what I need. I I, I never want to clear these places out without uh, getting all the chests and stuff. And then the animus glitches. That guy didn't know what was coming. That's the hardest ship in the game. It's faster than the Max Out Jackdaw. Yeah. That's why I was like, I shot at it. And it was like, ha, 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 ha. It just turned around and ran me full speed. Almost all my health was gone immediately. And I was like, oh, no. It was, it was an impossible fight. It was like Chiaotzu fighting Frieza, basically. Or Yamcha fighting anybody. <clears throat> I want a game where they change the name from Hidden Ones to Assassin. Uh, I mean, that was more of like a language thing. Because uh, like in the Middle East with um, Altair's group, they had the uh, the translation of the word was, was Assassin. So I, I think in the Assassin's Creed universe, it just naturally happened. Hello, sir. My fort. My fort. You chickened out to fight to run away like a bitch the other day. Hey, it worked. It's like Jack Sparrow says. You gotta, you gotta know when to run away. You know that that was one of his greatest teaching. You got You gotta know when to go. You gotta know when to go, go, go. All right, let's get Charlotte, and then we're going to go uh, help the assassins. Would you want Assassin's Creed where you play as young Amalim? That'd be interesting. It'd be interesting to see young Amalim, because then you would see where he went. Where he went bad, you know? When he decided, like, oh, this is not the way. That would be an interesting story. I wouldn't mind that. I worry, though, it would be too similar to Mirage, because you're a young guy in the Middle East eventually kind of loses himself so it might be too it too similar to what we're doing with mirage now i don't know unless he travels somewhere because like you know that's he was italian but you end up in constantinople also wonder would your brotherhood change the name it would well technically be the levantine assassins the uh altair's group if they're going historically that's when they call them the hesheshine or whatever Middle Eastern language. So from there, they just kind of drop the uh, hidden ones. Thing. Although to be to be honest, I do like the name hidden ones better than um, than um, assassin. I think it sounds cooler. Like it sounds more like a secret group than just like because an assassin. You know, that that's kind of a generic term, right? Assassin. But, I mean, that's what the series is known now, but um, I think Hidden Ones is a much better title. Like, that just sounds cool. Like, oh, you're one of the Hidden Ones? Hell yeah. That sounds cool. I'm getting my ass kicked. I didn't restock or repair my ship at all. This is a bad idea. What have I done? Got turn. At least, you know what the good thing is? At least there's no other boats harassing me. I might have a chance here. We, we need to go back to a dock and, and, and fix this shit, though. <laughs> like, we're, we're not in too good shape right now. And we gotta restock ammo. Not doing too hot there, either. With my cannons. I like how Mirage seems to have come about from people saying remake AC1. 
and Ubisoft says we need to make a new game. And someone said, hey, let's do both at the same time, basically. Although I still would like an actual remake of Assassin's Creed 1 with Altair here. At this point, though, I just don't know if it's going to happen. Because, like, if it would have happened, I think it would have happened already. And secondly, um, they have so many games. There's so many Assassin's Creed games deep in development. I don't know, like, like who's going to make it. They have, like, everyone running full force on Assassin's Creed already. With all the upcoming projects. Jade, Hex, the Japan one. Like, there's so much Assassin's Creed happening already. That, like, I, do they even have time to develop one? I, I don't think they do. That's, like, one of the biggest fan requests, though. They, they have to be aware of it. But, yeah, I mean, Mirage is a cool compromise. Because, yeah, it's going to be, it's going to have a lot of similarity to that, that world. I want a game for more of the statues in the estate. Well, yeah, see, that's interesting, because... What do we have? Amunet, we got her. That's Aya. Uh, we got the Mongolian assassin. They, they already told his story in the comic. The one that killed Genghis Khan. Or that struck his horse down, I should say. Um, who else did they do? Um, Darius. We got his story and Legacy of First Blade. He needs a game. I don't know why we don't have a Darius game about him killing Xerxes. We got the backstory in in Odyssey. I want a full game of that, man. See, that's before like the assassins were around, though. He was a lone wolf that they just like look up to now. They got ideas from him. We both know you want a remake of Altier's Chronicles. You know what? I would if we get a full-blown Assassin's Creed game like like this, like these graphics, but in Altier's Chronicles era. Sure, do it. Or you know what would be better? Here's a better idea. Why don't we remake Assassin's Creed One? Because to be honest, the story in Altier's Chronicles, you don't need a whole game for that. That game is it's like the definition of padding. The story in that's very basic. Uh, they, they want the chalice, which is a girl. They find her, they capture her, Altair's rescue, he fails. That's the whole story. Have Assassin's Creed 1 remake, right? And then have the first chapter. Even if you make it downloadable content later, have the first chapter be Altair's Chronicles. And it's that story. After that game is done, you also make a... a an expansion to the game which will act as a remake of Bloodlines for PSP where he goes to Cyprus. None of those need a full game. Like, make them downloadable, like, expansions of Assassin's Creed 1 Remake. You know how cool that would be? Ubisoft. I will write the story. You don't have to pay me. Please. <laughs> Just let me do it. Please. I think that'd be a good idea. So it'd be, at the same time, it'd be a remake of Assassin's Creed 1, but at the same time, it would also be a Altair trilogy, you could call it. That is the story of Altair's Chronicles 1 and Bloodlines, all in one beautifully remade package. Come on, man. Tell me that's not a good idea. It's a beautiful idea. Whoa, get out of my way, Tubby. Imagine if AC had released an AC game with Cleopatra now alongside Netflix series. Would sell like crazy. Yeah, but Cleopatra, we already had her in Origin. They already dealt with her. And Abinette already left her with a warning. Here, go sleep. <laughs> Actually, let me get my guns out. Oh! How do I get up there? Here we go. I think if you're gonna do it, they're gonna do it once everything is done. Yeah, like I said, right now, I just don't think there's any room for them to develop it. It's too much Assassin's Creed, which, don't get me wrong, I love Assassin's Creed. The, hey, keep bringing it. But there's gonna be a certain point where, like, you're gonna hit a limit. 
of how many you can make at once, you know? Like, they have so many in development now, like, then they're gonna throw in a remake of one? I don't think so. It's not gonna happen. Would you get the game where Aminette kills Cleopatra? I don't even think she did. I think in the lore, actually, she killed herself with the snake. And then it turned into legend. I think that was in one of the comics or the graphic novels. I don't remember. I gotta look it up again, but I remember something vaguely about that. That she didn't actually kill her. And Grant, thank you for the 999. A, you deserve it. And B, someone tried to scam me. To oh, someone tried to scam you? Tried to mean mug me on Cash App. I'm like, do you know where I'm from? Wait, what did someone do on, on Cash App to you? You know, you're like the third person uh, within the last couple of weeks that has told me that someone tried to scam them on Cash App. I don't even, like, how do people, how does someone go about scamming you on Cash Because Cash App doesn't have, someone have to have, like, your Cash App ID? Like, don't you have to give that to somebody? I only use Cash App when, like, a friend owes me money or something. Man, there's scams everywhere now, though. People gotta be careful. Yeah, we gotta go to a port. <laughs> we gotta heal up my shit. Mom's about to get home, though. Gonna watch Cocaine Bear with Mom. Well, enjoy it. Cocaine Bear is funny. I watch it. It's really good. It's goofy as hell. They need to make, like, cocaine shark next. Methamphetamine shark. I want that treasure chest up here first. What the fuck? Where is that chest? Oh, is it inside? Sir, are you hiding treasure? Oh, hell no. Oh, he was hiding treasure from me. For that, he will pay with the hidden blade. After getting shot in the nuts. And now, there. So you get, you do not hide treasure from me. It's my treasure. All right, let's go to a port. Let's go to a port and do Templar hunts with the assassins. Send you a questionable email that explains how people get scammed. Just don't scan it for viruses. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I I know there's a lot of like like I I got a um a scam today. It's YouTubers get scams all the time. It's crazy. Like, I got a scam today. Uh, supposedly, it's not from Canon, but I got one from Canon. Like, you know, the the printer people. Uh, hold on. What city was I gonna go to? Where do they want me to go over here? Let's go real quick. Yeah, look, see. Templar hunt. That's where I want to go. What was I saying? Yeah, I got an email today from Canon where he, here's one piece of advice as a content creator. One thing I've learned. Um, you get offers all the time for like reviews or free products or hey, let's work together. Put a 60 second ad in the video. You know, they pay you a certain amount. It, you get that kind of stuff all the time. But a big red flag is when a company just comes out and like says, Hey, do this, we'll pay you so much. Like, before you even have a conversation about anything. that It's kind of a red flag that they're so eager to give you money. Like, for example, today I had a, um email from Canon saying they're coming out with a whole new line of printers and printing products. And we'd love to work with you and, you know, uh, make a video on your channel about it. First of all, I don't even cover that kind of stuff on my channel. You know, the ads are something that's different. But the red flag is like, oh, we'll pay you $1,800. And I was like... First of all, that that's that's a lot of money for what they're asking. Like, if me, and just right off the bat, before you're having any conversation, and it, it's just a huge scam. And you reply to them, and basically what happens is they send you a link uh, that they're gonna send you a link with a PDF. It's a PDF file that you have to download and agree to, and it's, it's just viruses. It's like spyware just to get like login information, and everything on your browser. So, yeah, you, you got to be careful with those kind of things, man. It, not just content creators, like, just being on the internet, like, you get exposed to this kind of crap all the time. Just scams everywhere, man. I get family members all the time, like, extended older family that are always like, oh, look what I got on Facebook, and I'll be like, that's not real, don't do that. 
I, I'm always the one having to tell people, like, no, 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 that, that's super fake. Like, all these Facebook ads that pop up. Like, my father was going to buy, a, like, some, uh, I don't know, some, like, telescope. They went on a cruise to Alaska, and he wanted, they were going to go, like, whale watching, and he wanted to buy, like, a, like a monoscope kind of thing that they were advertising all over Facebook. You could tell it's just some cheap Chinese product. I went on Amazon and looked up better ones for, like, 20 bucks. <laughs> this thing was, like, 150 it is just obvious scams, and they're all over the place, man. Facebook is a cesspool of scams. If we had five games of Bayek and Aminette, that'd be cool. Oh, yeah, they should... No, I always said that. Bayek could have had at least one more game, and Aya could have had one. Templar Hunt, Vance Travers. Oh, brother. Who's this guy? Travers? What tide brings you? You dress the part of an assassin, yet I don't know your it's face. It's an assassin called Travers. I'm here to warn you of a threat to your bureau. Yes, I have noticed some suspicious men lurking about. I believe they work for a network Templar See, called... See, we're, we're slowly making it up to the assassins. We'll be friendly with them. Eliminate them for me. Oh, I may be persuaded. For a price. You wouldn't happen to know anything about a Templar key, would you? Got him banned, sent his kids I'm out sure door to door down. find it among Upton's men. If... I'll tell you where they are. <laughs> You've got yourself a deal. Elite, thank you for the two bucks. I get off work early, I can download Ghostwire. Ooh, let me know how you like it. That, that's a good game. I still got to finish my copy, but it, it is a good game. I like it a lot. It's actually got a good story, too. Yeah, people at Scam 9-11 Family Funds. Oh, you you heard about... Um, I forgot her name. I've talked about her before. Uh, in, in uh, After 9-11, there was some lady. that I saw a whole documentary about her. That she pretended to be like a victim of, of 9-11. Turned out she wasn't even there. She was a scammer. But she like infiltrated all these groups and stuff. Trying to be like part of these survivor groups and everything. She said her fiance died in the towers. And like turns out he didn't even exist. Yeah I don't know man. So, some people are crazy. Toby what's up welcome. Back to the high seas I see ya. Indeed, today we will become the terror of the Caribbean. Although, I did start out as a failure. <laughs> because I went after a legendary ship, it wrecked me. <laughs> without hesitation. But we will be the terror of the Caribbean soon enough. Right now, we're trying to make it up to the assassins and doing work for them. And then I will be a terror of the Caribbean. Yep, doesn't surprise me. Yeah, I wish I remember her name. Uh, I think she, like... She basically got run out of the country, like, she was so, she, like, fled to Spain, where she was, like, originally from or something. But, yeah, like, uh, journalists started, like, interviewing her, and eventually lies like that, like, big lies like that start falling apart. So they started finding all kinds of holes in her story and started, like, deep dive investigations and realized, like, oh, my God, she is lying about everything. So, yeah, she was, she had this whole dramatic story. What? I didn't hear enough. She had this whole dramatic story about how she was in one of the towers and someone rescued her and her fiance died in there. And she was in all these survivor groups and other survivors were like embracing her and making she was one of them. And yeah, she's a liar. She wasn't even there. And her fiance didn't even exist. Like she's just a scammer. I, I don't know how people can do that. That that's it that's dirty, man. That is real dirty. I miss this game with so many games to play. You're telling me. I've put like 50 hours into Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, and I haven't even done one temple. Because I've been going around duplicating items, uh, buying stuff, uh, doing shrines, unlocking parts of the map. Like there, There's so much. And then next week, we got Street Fighter Six coming out. So, like, I wish I could... I wish life was like Dragon Ball. Like, I could go into a hyperbolic time chamber... Where I could spend three years in there. When I come out, only three days have passed. I would go in there and, like, empty my backlog and then come out, like, a reborn. <laughs> only to buy more games. Alright, now. Oh, I'm definitely hearing a lot of this conversation now. Part of why I learned not to give pity me fundraisers the benefit of the doubt. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I never really give to fundraiser. The only fundraiser I, I ever really um, gave to is one that I shared uh, a little while ago. It was actually really sad, uh, like a month ago or something. Uh, my, my daughter at her school, one of the little girls in her class, her family got in a really bad car accident. 
and her family, we learned because her family had to go fund me. We're like, oh my God, I know them. Like, they, there's a little girl in my, um, little, one of my, um, daughter's classmates. But apparently a little girl, like, hit her head really hard in the accident. At first, they didn't know she was going to make it. So they, the family needed a lot of help, like, paying for her surgeries and stuff. Um, as you know, in America, healthcare is crazy expensive, so... That's the only, like, charity, like, GoFundMe thing I've ever really looked into. Just kind of, I know that personally. But, um, it was sad because they, they, um, said that she's going to have no memory of anyone or anything before the accident. She's going to have to, like, start from step one. Uh, like, learning how to walk and talk again. And lo and behold, fast forward now, and the little girl's back in class. And she's doing really well, and she remembers most of her classmates. Some she doesn't remember, though, but, like... Going from, like, they didn't know she was going to make it to the fact that she's back in class and she's doing well. Like, that that's really good. That, that, that kind of shit makes me happy, you know? Stop! I am Upton Travers, bureau leader. What? Is Vance your... My blood brother. We work together. Shit. And those were not Templars that you killed. They were my workers. Don't blame me. Your brother ordered it. Betrayal. Does he mean to usurp me? I don't know, mate. I meant to ask you how that turned out. Yeah, it seems like... I mean, I haven't talked to them personally. These are updates like we got from, like, people we know at the school and stuff. But, yeah, the little girl's back in the class and everything. And she's doing well. So it really shows how resilient kids can be, man. Meet me at the bureau, and I will show you. Like, they literally were worried that she was... Because they had her, like, in an induced coma for a while. Uh, and they were worried that she was basically me a vegetable, but yeah, back in class and doing well. Like, that's amazing. You can't ask for more than that as a parent, you know, after being in a situation like that, that's terrifying. Craziest thing I watched 9-11 live in algebra class. Yeah. I mean, I was in a, I was in 10th grade. I was in my, um. English class and everyone was making jokes because like at first everybody thought it was just um some like, people were making jokes like some drunk guy like in a plane hit a hit a building like I no one realized the gravity of the situation and I remember I was in my next class it was my French class um uh, where everyone realized like oh my god another plane hit like at that point it got serious like everybody got quiet it, it was a scary time like actually being there seeing that happen live you're just like what the fuck is happening? And then you hear like one crashing of the Pentagon and all that. Like, it's it was crazy. <clears throat> My scammer was portraying the Boys and Girls Club, which I volunteered at. Oh wow. My love sick. Yeah, like he said people are dirty. Oh, start from the start, mate. Recently, our trade introduced us to a formidable woman, Jing Lang, a pirate. From the farther seas of the this guy was getting usurped. Intriguing. She and Vance quickly became inseparable. Any reason he should have thought your men were spies? Well, there is the treasure. Oh? A pirate sold us a map. <laughs> the second Edward hears Go. treasure. I will meet him now. If you follow with discretion, you may hear it for yourself. Follow me at a distance. If anyone sees you, tell them you are my bodyguard. Are thieves about who would stop at nothing to secure either half of the map. Follow Upton. It's all about the treasure, man. Striving to IBM call center and every road was slow. We had no calls that day, nothing. Go. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. I remember kids, all the kids like were getting picked up from school and everything. Cause like, yeah, nobody knew what was happening out there in the world. Oh my god, look at this, man. There's so many of these missions. Like, why is it that every every mission's got to be tailed? I barely knew you. And if the whispers around town are to believe, you would have gone and done away. I will happily take down this traitor, though. They have a double standard XP event going on for Evil Dead. <laughs> I haven't even played it. I have it installed on my PS5 and nope, I haven't touched it once. I really gotta get into it sometime. Quiet. Quiet. Now tell me. Is 
brought it. It? My half of the map, you mean? The map. The map. Of course, the map. The map to the treasure. To our legacy. That very one. I have mine. Kill the thief stealthily. <laughs> Die, thief. Sad to learn of IBM employees or victims of that attack. There's a small office in one of the towers. Yeah, we had. I remember um, there was a girl in my class that um, she went home that day, and we didn't see her back in school for a while. Like she, she didn't come back for for a couple like weeks, and I, we found out later apparently um, her dad was in one of the towers. Like her dad lived in New York. Like the parents were separated, and he worked in one of the towers, and we found out he had died, and I was like, wow. So it's, it's crazy, like, knowing people that that were affected directly. And then you have dumbasses out there that think it's all conspiracy. No, that actually happened and all this. Like, there, there's some lunatics in the world, man. <laughs> crazy people out there. That's what holds this game back for me. Yeah, the tailing. It's too much. Like, it, 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 I have a couple missions here and there, but, like, every other mission is this. Just follow this person. Tail that person. Don't let them see you. Your chat won't show booty, but we'll show swear words. Wait, you tried typing booty? What do you mean? Or like a booty emoji. See you Jeff. You know what the problem is with the tailing missions here, I would say, also? It's, I don't know if it's the fact that, like, there's so many of them, but some of them are just, they overstay their welcome. Like, this one should have been over already. Like, do, like, one or, like, kill one thief stealthily, but now we're on the third one. Like, why is this still going? I like how I killed him stealthily, but everyone's surrounding me. Now we gotta keep tailing Vance. Ew, there's rats everywhere. Disgusting. <clears throat> the chat didn't like trying to Shao Kahn a bastard yesterday. That was Shao Kahn censoring it, not YouTube. Shao Kahn doesn't like being called a bastard. He likes being called Emperor of Outworld. Oop. Shao Kahn was such a dick yesterday, man. I can't... I can't believe... Like, I must have not beat that game on hard when I was younger because, like, I would. There's no way. Like, doing Shang Tsung, Kintaro, and Shao Kahn in one without. Uh oh. Without uh, any, like. I mean, you might as well say you don't get a health increase because you barely do. You get the small one. Not yet. Not yet. What am I to tell my order? You know we can't leave until I have it. Take care of it. She a Templar? Give me time. More time? Your loyalty makes you soft. I think you're not man enough to see it. I think she's part of the Asian Templars. It's all but done. I hired a man. In moments, Upton's life will be over, and the map will be ours. You hired a man? In your scriptures, did Cain hire a man? Yeah, I'll soak him. No, Cain was a man. Come to the field, he said to Abel. And he did it himself. He did not require a third man to it's hard to hear the voices. These missions are irritating me, but I grew to like them. It's just, it's it too long. Like this moment? Now. Locate Upton's assailant. Coming, Upton. I like the assassin missions, though. I like helping them, but... Yeah, just give me a target, let me kill the target, you know? Let me be an assassin. I don't care if I'm not official yet. Like, I don't want to be tailing people. Just let me, let me just stab, stab. Oh, fuck. I don't see anybody. And I'm running out of time. Oh, there we go. Hello there. <laughs> Surprise, bitch! Edward? I believe I just saved your life, mate. Thanks. You said kill me. I thought it was bluster. 
He is my brother. Despite what you told me, I thought it meant something. That's what happens when you simp. You turn on your brother for some skank in a map. That's what happened. Nassau would do you some good. There, get the hell out of here. I just saved you. Family drama does not belong in the Brotherhood, all right? Get it out of here. So we somehow got roped into this family drama. Good God. I bet they're going to be Taylor Mission and Mirage. I'm sure there will be some. My brother? A traitor? That woman? Templar? I have no family, no wife of my own. What is the point of living? Hmm? Let them kill me. <laughs> you don't know what you're saying, mate. Let's get you someplace safe. Edward's tired of this shit. What's the point? The point is, I want my key. So I need you alive. I need your information, so I need you sober. You, you are my best friend. That was wrong with this man. Like, you are my best friend. I'll kill you. What are you looking at? He's had a little bit too much uh, funny water. A little too much funny water. Defend Upton in a fist fight. There we go. A good bar fight. You can't beat that. Look at that, man. It's an orgy of fists. <laughs> Got you, Upton. Upton Travers. My God, there's so many of them. They're being surrounded. I like how bar fight turned into a bunch of neck breaking. I should give him my own assassin bureau. So I don't have to deal with this guy. Yes, towards me. Uh, <laughs> look at it. This is wobbling around. It's funny because the other day, God, some people can't handle their drink. The other day I went with a couple friends. We made a, a couple bars downtown, had a couple drinks. And some like random drunk guy went up to us. And he offered to buy us all drinks if I let him do a chair challenge. And I was like, okay, sure. So you could tell this guy was just hammered. He was barefoot, too. We don't know where his shoes were. And then I got out of my chair, and I was like, do you need my chair? He's like, yeah. And he lifted the chair over his head three times, and that was the chair challenge. And then he went and bought us all drinks. <laughs> and then he went and sat with his friends and I was like oh man like I was with like five other friends and he got around for everybody that dude is gonna wake up the next day look at his statement and be like oh no <laughs> he's not gonna remember no but yeah he was barefoot it was very weird like if you're out in public like where are your shoes man defend Hold on, Upton. There's dangers afoot. Upton, mate. Is he pissing on that guy? He's peeing on that guy. Look! Piss off. Oh! <laughs> he's pissing all over him. They won't stand for this. No! <laughs> hey, hold on. Wait, wait. Let the guy pee. Let the guy pee. <laughs> he was peeing on that dude. I did not imagine that. Look, look, the guy's still there. That is so funny. Upton, you're disgusting. Put that back in. Clean your hands. <laughs> Amazing. Do you think we'll see Onaga in MK1? I don't think so, to be honest. Tell me, what is that? Is that the booty emoji? I can't tell what that is. Betrayal makes one philosophical, don't it? Imagine a Templar. My brother to marry a My brother's traitor to the I order. Doubt it'll come to that. I'm so afraid for him. But please help keep him safe. Sober up, mate. We'll finish this in the morning. <laughs> he gave my man a golden shower, he indeed did. The brightest of golden showers. He's gonna be shiny all week. Oh man. 
Living in Michigan, we walk barefoot in our yards, but shoes and shirt are required everywhere else. Yeah, I mean, but you're in your home, you know? We were out, like, in a downtown area with a bunch of bars and stuff, and this was, like, a little, a nice little area outside the bar in the backyard area of the bar. And yeah, this dude just, like, I looked down, and I was like, he's barefoot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was one of those situations where he arrived wearing shoes, and at some point in the evening, his shoes left his feet somewhere. But yeah, the guy was, he was, he was, just, he was gone. You, you could just tell. But I didn't see any harm in letting him do a chair challenge, so why not? Alright, let's see if uh, Upton sobered up yet. Queen of Pirates, King of Fools. You're looking better than last we met. As I sobered up, I began to see it more clearly. He sobered up real fast. Jing has led my brother astray and must be killed. Vance has also betrayed me. As an assassin, his treachery must be punished by death. So either way, one of them has the Templar key. You're obviously distraught. Let me take care of it. I will tell you where to find them. At the end of this mission, he's going to be like, by the way, did I pee on someone yesterday? It's like, I just remember someone with their mouth open screaming. Has I showered them with golden fluids. <laughs> that was amazing. Horribly disgusting, but amazing. I guess everyone's got their, uh, their kinks. I don't know. What can you do? Um, I could blow that up. This looks like liberation almost right here. All that fancy footwork and I still ended up down here. Damn it. I killed a bunch of alligators here earlier. Locate Vance. The Lance Vance dance. Nothing. Oh, alligators. Here. I want the skin. I think I need that for some upgrades that, I, that I'm missing. Over here. I felt bad because I've been killing so many howler monkeys. It's so sad because they're just like innocently clinging on the trees and you're just like, boom, and they fall off. I mean, it's only sad until you get your upgrades and you're like, okay, got my upgrades. There he is. Your brother has sent me to kill you. You know what? Oh, I wanted to kill him with the hidden blade. Traitor. Damn it. It takes one to know one. Uh. Mustache. I was so bummed they didn't show Final Fantasy VII Rebirth at the showcase on Wednesday. You know, it's funny you say that. I was reading an article before I started streaming talking about how, like, all these documents are coming out now that, uh, that got leaked. As I, live and I told him not to hire you. Apparently, you Sony was holding back quite a bit. So there's a lot of stuff that they didn't show there for one reason or another. Come here. You're a Templar. You must die. You know what? No time for this. You're a Templar. You gotta go. Imagine the Queen of Pirates, Jing Lang, defeated for a fake map. I have been arrogant. Really? Shouldn't have joined the Templars. Yes, I stole the real one. Both halves. My husband has it. Your husband? Better man than these fools. Really old man, yeah. And I was reading the article, it looks legit. Like, there's a lot of stuff that they didn't show that they actually have. Um, I don't know why. Because maybe they're, they're probably, I'm assuming they'll save it for like a later showing. Later in the year or something. That, that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe they're saving it 
for another presentation. They didn't want to do it all at once, but it would have been nice for them to just come out real strong and just like shit. Show us all your cards, man. Shows everything you got. Uh, was that the last one? Especially since the Microsoft showcase is coming out, like I would think that Sony would want to make them look as bad as possible. Because I'm not really expecting anything major for the Microsoft Showcase. I, I hope so. I just don't think it'll happen. Is that it for the Templar Hunt? I guess so. You think there'd be like a conclusion? Alright. <clears throat> 16 looks amazing. Yeah, Final Fantasy 16 does look really good. I just don't know if I'm going to buy it right away just because so many other games coming out, but I want it really bad. Where is another town? Usually it's in the cities. Where was I? Here, let's go to Kingston. See, that's an assassin contract. I wish I could, like, filter out. I don't know if I can. Filter out, like, where the assassin hunts are. I don't know if there's any outside the cities. Nassau, that's where I was. Right, where's Havana? Let's go to Havana. There's got to be one in Havana. Yep, here we go. Havana. Let's go there. You better get it. I want to, but my problem is, like, there's so many. I know if I get it, I'm not going to play it right away just because so many games in my backlog. It's just so much. This is such. This is easily one of the best years for gaming, I would say. Like, there's so many games coming out that are good. By the way, has anyone played that Gollum game yet? I'm curious to talk to anyone that's played it. Because it's getting annihilated in reviews. I've seen footage, and it's like, holy shit. Like, they used the Microsoft Office font, they used Calibri font. Like, they didn't even make their own, like, special looking font. Just because they had a bunch of games in development doesn't mean they're ready to show them off. Yeah, no, it's also true. Um, like I said, I, I, it's probably, they probably have a lot more than they showed and are just saving it for future use. Because if they show it all at once, then later they're not going to have anything, you know. Bureau under attack. Is that a little boy? Oh, that's a woman. I thought it was a little boy at first. It's Rona, right? Rona. Kenway, looking for trouble, I assume. <laughs> so you haven't lost your charm. Who is that? I don't remember ever meeting her. And you're still boozy as a swill tub. What do you want? I've come to warn you. Your life's in danger. Aren't you the crafty one? Whatever, get that away. Coworker got Gollum game only played a little bit. He liked it, really. He's also Possibly a huge Lord of the Rings fan. In Interesting. Selling a sensitive document to one of those Templar chaps you're so fond of. Yeah, a game looks rough. Congratulations, your mission was a success. How can I make amends? <sighs> you sober enough for target practice? Anything for a lady. I want to play that game. I'll probably get because I like Lord of the Rings too. I'll probably get the game when it's real cheap though. I imagine it's gonna be discounted heavily soon. What do you think the best year? The best year ever for gaming? I I don't think there's such a thing. There's been ups and downs through all gaming history. Uh, you could name multiple years that have been good. Some years have been worse than others. This year is one of the best I've seen though. I mean, think about it, like. Look at all the big releases we got this year. Like, this is a year where we're getting new Assassin's Creed, new Resident Evil, uh, new Mortal Kombat, and a new Street Fighter. Like, this is all the same year. Like, that alone is like, wow. <laughs> that's a lot of heavy hitters in one year. Not to mention everything else that's been coming out. Over here? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why is she acting like this is a... a freak? Oh! He moved it. I don't need those. I just kill these guys. Come on. That's what Gamer said about Gollum, essentially. Wait till it's cheaper, if at all. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. I looked at the gameplay. Like, one review I saw was a Mad Little Pixel. They showed a lot of the gameplay. It, it looks boring. Like, it, it pretty much looks like when you see a trailer... 
Like, that's all you do in the game is just crawl around. And it, it, it doesn't look fun. I think that's the problem with it. But like I said, I haven't played it myself. I plan to eventually, but hell, I'm not paying $70 for it. No way in hell am I paying $70 for that game. Not from what I've seen. Especially when I could pay $70 instead and get something like Final Fantasy 16. Like, I think that's money much, much better spent than the Gollum. And I looked at the developers, like, their uh, games that they've developed. Like, those people have not developed anything worthwhile. Just a bunch of random PC games. I think it's just some license Warner Brothers had. They're like, we need to do a Lord of the Rings game here. Hand this to anyone just to make a Gollum game. I feel like that's what happened. So the new Mortal Kombat coming out as a remake of the first game? Nope, not at all. Chaos, have you played MK11? Spoilers. MK11, at the end, Liu Kang becomes a god. He replaces the titan that's responsible for the flow of time, and he resets the timeline to get all her manipulations out of history. So he creates a whole new era. So, no, it's not a remake of the first game at all. Um, there's a specific reason. It's a continuation and a fresh start at the same time. But it's all flowing from Mortal Kombat 11, from the ending of it. That's why it's called Mortal Kombat 1. It's quite literally Liu Kang reset the clock to the beginning of time and rewrote history in a different way. So it's going to be a brand new era. Cheers. Raise one glass of crack and coke. Here's mud in your eyes. I really wish I... See, I have crack and rum, but I don't have any coke. Unfortunately. Must say welcome. So, is this your new persona? Sir Edward of Havana rescues damsels in distress. And does it suit me, Mopsy? <sighs> Better than your old personality. I've seen you play yeah, all of MK11. Yeah, it key. takes place right after yes. Aftermath, then. Well, there's a key. Most likely in the pocket of your Templar suitor. I need as far as the story details, really? no idea. And no, as much as you do. Key for myself? Rona. I know you're no stranger to a man's boots, but the suit this key unlocks won't fit you. I'll tell you what. If I think of a chore that requires the help of an especially simple fellow, I'll let you know. Edward wants that suit so bad. He's not even worried about helping them. He just wants the damn suit. A thief in the mark. I'm so excited about MK1, Have though. We considered my offer, Rona. I know we got Street Fighter 6 coming out, but it's like, yes, I need Mortal Kombat now. And my sense of duty runs deeper than my pride. There's a situation I hope you can investigate. Go on. Mind, I said investigate a situation, not create <laughs> one. Yes, mum. No promises. What is it? Secure a ticket for the game's pre-launch party? Oh, cool. Seems too convenient it started at the same time as these bureau attacks. Guys, nice, welcome. Could you see what you can find out? <coughs> Texas with family now, nice. A boozy swill tub like me. Are you sure? I won't let you down. Who do you think will be the big bad boss of MK1? It I have no hard, idea. I don't think it's going to be Shang Tsung. That's what everyone's assuming because of the trailer. But I still stand by the fact that I think the trailer is being misleading purposely. Because in MK11, and I've said this before, if you look at the MK11, the very first trailer, it was just Raiden and Scorpion fighting. They did not at all. Like, there's, you couldn't, you would never know, oh, Shinnok's mother, a titan older than the gods themselves, is responsible for all this. Like, you had no idea that that character was even a thing. So, whoever is the bad guy in this, I don't think we've seen yet. Uh, will it be Onaga or Sh or Shao Kahn again? I, I don't know. Onaga would probably be first, though. Uh, because he was ruler of Outworld before Khan. Uh, so, I, I don't know. And Shang Tsung, he, I don't know if he's even going to play a part in the story. He might not. Because you got to remember, Shang Tsung is a pre-order exclusive. He's a pre-order bonus. Um... You could argue Shao Kahn was also, and he was an important part of the game. Also true. But I think it could have been something as simple as they're just advertising Shang Tsung as a pre-order exclusive, so you pre-order the game. But he's not really, like, the main part of the story. And that's also kind of supported by the fact that Liu Kang told him in MK11, like, I'm wiping you away from the timeline. Bye. Turn the sand. 
But again, we don't know the rules of what Liu Kang can and can't do yet. So that, that'll all presumably be explained in this game. All we know is that it restarted history. And one thing you got to remember is these characters like Kronika, they didn't control the entire timeline. They would just manipulate events here and there to try to get the timeline they envisioned. And when it didn't turn out that way, she just reset time again and tried again. So they, they have limited power. Oh, look at this. We got Templars here. Tekken 8 looks promising. Oh, when did that come out again? I forgot about that. That came out this year too, right? A military camp is set up in Havana's commercial district. Your target is the Templar captain of this military reserve. The Templar captain must die. Makes you wonder since Liu Kang's a god now who's going to replace Liu Kang as protector of Earthrealm. I think Kung Lao. I, I think it's just going to be the original Kung Lao or his descendant. Does the original Kung Lao die in Mortal Kombat and then the original Kung Lao takes his... The, the, ant, the descendant takes his place? I don't know. I think it'll just be Kung Lao. Will, the, will there even be a champion of Earthrealm? Will, will the Mortal Kombat tournament even be a thing anymore? See, there's so many questions we don't know yet. Look at this dude. Oh, yes! Headshot. I need the chest and I'm gonna run away. Treasure, treasure. We're cleaning house. Oh, damn it. Oh, gotta find my way out. No choice. Oh, come on. Just let me get out of here. He's a Templar, don't you know? They're the bad guys? Liu Kang killed Shang too easily in the teaser for him to be the big bad. Yeah, he was just... It was a demonstration of Shang Tsung is a pre-order bonus. And look, here's one of Liu Kang's fatalities. I think that's all the trailer was. I, I don't think there's any story detail in there. Besides where some of the characters' histories might be different. Like, Melina and Katana might not be at each other's throats. Possibly. Uh, the Lin Kuei and the Shirai Ryu don't seem to be two different clans in this timeline. Because both Scorpion and Sub-Zero, if that is them, uh, are both wearing Lin Kuei medallions. So, there, there's a lot to look into there. I don't know. Thoughts on the GT movie? Oh, Gran Turismo? I I was thinking Dragon Ball GT. I was like, no, no, no. no. There's no Dragon Ball GT movie. <laughs> and I pray there never is. I think it looks really good. What interests me about the Gran Turismo movie is the fact that it, it looks... Um, that it's based off a true story. I didn't know that until I read it in the trailer. They said it in the trailer and then I looked it up. And I was like, it actually is a true story. That's cool. I like that. It reminds me of the Tetris movie, how, like, if you watch the Tetris movie, it's just about the interesting backstory of the Tetris game, like, being made, and it's a crazy-ass story. Uh, it's not like, oh, aliens are invading and blocks are crashing into buildings. Like, they didn't try to turn, turn Tetris into a, a movie. They were just like, hey, the real-life story of Tetris is crazy. Here's a movie about it. I like that. It's a, like a, what do they call it? Like a, uh... A bi biopic, I think they call it. Where? Here we go. You know what? Let's let's knock out some of these contracts on the way here. The Templar scum will pay. Johnny Cage, defender of Earthrealm, only for it to turn out to be a movie shoot. That's another thing. Is, is Johnny Cage even going to be a Mortal Kombat one? We know he's a cameo fighter, but I I suspect that the cameo fighters are not part of the storyline. They're just like little assist bonus characters that are in there. A Legacy of Goku is Dragon Ball GT movie. It's literally about Goku Jr. Yeah, the, the GT movie. I, I actually... That one's actually really well done. Antonio Ruda, a Templar associate, is trading weapons and explosives in Havana's trade district. Find him. End his business. And his life. All right. <clears throat> bio epic, epic biographical movie. Yeah, if um, <clears throat> if Gran Turismo was just like a fictional story, 
I don't think I would have been interested in it because it's just a generic race car movie. Like, what's Gran Turismo about it? But the fact that it, it's a true story and the true story did involve the Gran Turismo video game heavily, that's interesting. I want to see that. The main characters even got the, I don't know his name, but the main character of the movie even has uh, the real life guy's name. Like, it's just his story. So I'll definitely check it out. Sometimes the best video game movies aren't in the game, but about the movie. Yeah, I agree with that. Like like I said before, if you watch Tetris, I highly recommend it. That was a really good movie. I don't know if this is going to reach him. I got to get closer. Edward is becoming quite the uh, Templar killer here. The Templar Slayer. There. Shot him in the face. <laughs> now I gotta go. See, man, when I go back and see Adabai, he better be like, alright, Edward. You've proven yourself. You can now be an assassin. Here's your own bureau. Here's your uh, assassin pirate flag. You're good, bro. We forgive you for all your transgressions. Any interest in the oh, Five Nights at Freddy's movie? I want to see it really bad, actually. It looks really good. Especially because it's the Blumhouse production. I think it'll be good. My daughter's excited about it. She's worried, though, because she's like, but what if I'm scared in the theater? I was like, yeah, that's part of the fun. I told you, I don't raise my kids in a bubble. If they're scared of a movie or something, I encourage them to watch it, because I'm just like, you know what's fake? Just embrace the, the jump scares. Just have fun. Uh, it's part of the fun, being scared. <laughs> Although I can't imagine it's going to be that scary. I, I don't find Five Nights at Freddy's scary. But, you know, it's like children's horror. They do, they find it scary. Fox, welcome. Just got back from vacation. Nice. How is Shaolin Monks? How does everyone feel about Metal Gear? Is Shaolin Monks? Shao Kahn was an asshole. That's how it was. Because you have to fight Shang Tsung, Kintaro, and Shao Kahn back to back with essentially the same health bar. It's BS. We had to, we had to uh, use some strategic saving, as I call it, to defeat him. It's not cheating. It's a feature. Some strategic saving with a, a, a rewind of the PC console <laughs> feature. I'm pumped about Metal Gear, though. That's cool. Although, I still stand by the fact that Metal Gear Solid 3 is not one of my favorites. I know that's a hot take, but hey, it is what it is. What can I say? I hope the FNAF movie is great, but also we know the jump scare, so, like, will we see it coming my all the way? Yeah. I, I just, it's the same shit after a while. What you find out? To if it wasn't Blumhouse, I probably wouldn't Sly be watching had it. A map. Something about storehouses and gunpowder. I did some research too. It's clear as day. The whole operation's run by that Templar scoundrel Hillary Flint. Hillary That's Flint. The same name from the map. He's using pickpockets to run an arms race. Against who? Me. He's in the lead, I take it. Yes, but with your map, we can destroy his weapon stores to catch up. Let's waste no time. To be clear, Shao Kahn's an asshole, not a bastard. He's both. Ignite the powder reserves. All right, let's end this arms race. After this Templar hunt, we'll go. We'll go do some main missions. We gotta balance it all out. Oh, let's pick up a contract. Maybe we can do a kill on the way. People that criticize Valhalla for not being a C black flag is a pirate sim with a smidge of creed. <sighs> I, yeah, I have a lot of thoughts on all that. <laughs> I have never been one to... I, I pers For me personally, I hate that talking point. Like, you can like and dislike some Assassin's Creed's, maybe the gameplay you like better in some than the others. A privateer working for the Templars as a fence is believed to be hiding in Havana's poor district, locate and kill him. But saying one game's not Assassin's Creed, like, I that has never been a valid argument to me. Like, why is Valhalla not Assassin's Creed, for example? What, what's the answer to that question? Like, why is it not Assassin's Creed? People argue that it's not like stealth mechanics, but there are stealth mechanics. You just don't have to play that way. Like, I like running in, just axes blazing and destroying everything. Um, there's assassins in it. You're not playing as an assassin, but you got to remember, 
if you follow the story in Lore of Assassin's Creed, it's not all about Assassins vs. Templars. We're getting the whole, like, oh my god, it frustrates me talking about this, because people say it all the time, like, it's not Assassin's Creed because it's not Assassin's vs. Templars, but what has Assassin's Creed been about since the beginning? It's been about this ancient civilization that existed before humanity that was insanely advanced species, almost sci-fi alien-like, that were trying to stop the apocalypse from happening, and it happened, and they left all these, for lack of a better word, magical artifacts behind that do all kinds of crazy shit. So, Assassin's and Templars have been fighting for these artifacts for years. We're getting the side of that story of that ancient race now. Like, that's what we're getting. So, yeah, when people say it's not Assassin's Creed, it's like, but it is. It's just telling us another aspect of the overall story and fleshing out the universe more. That's never been a valid argument. Like, you, know, you can have your opinion on what you prefer, but saying it's not Assassin's Creed, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> you know? And before that, like, around the Syndicate and Unity area, era, everyone's complaining that all the games are the same thing. So what did Ubisoft do in response? Change the gameplay. Drastically. And then these people still complain. Uh, but honestly, it doesn't really matter because numbers-wise, Origins, Valhalla, and, and uh, Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla have consecutively just broken each other's records and sales. So, I mean, it's doing well. And, like, people complain, but they're still buying it. <laughs> still. <laughs> Preach it. Like, I told you, like I said, I have thoughts about it. But it's true. And then, usually, it, it's funny, because with these people that, that say that, usually you'll be like, oh, what's the last one you played? Well, I haven't played one since Black Flag. So, you're, like, a million games behind. and So, you don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> or, oh, I played three, and it's like, okay. So you haven't played anything since then. Like, if you play all of them, you're not going to have that opinion because you, you get it. You get the story. Like, there, there's a whole story underneath the Assassin's Creed Templar thing that we're exploring now. Like, Odyssey, for example. People argue that's not Assassin's Creed, but it's like, yeah, you're getting the Isu part of the story. Cassandra has a heavy, heavy amount of Isu DNA in her, which makes her special. And you're getting the story about the gods. And somehow they still wrapped assassins in it, because we got the story of Darius. And she's an ancestor to Aya from Origins, so there you go. There's your assassin story. Still in universe. I remember a video that claims Black Flag is the best and worst Assassin's Creed, and it's what broke the series. Well, that video's completely wrong. Because what do they mean by break the series? Black Flag was undoubtedly a success, review-wise and financially. Like, the numbers, the numbers say it all. And when you find new fans, a lot of them started with Black Flag. So, not only did it attract new people to the series, it made the old ones happy. So, that video is just factually wrong. Personal opinions aside, you can, you can think whatever you want, but the facts don't always support it. That's my rant. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's an AC game. I'll fight you in Odyssey. Yeah, no, it is. It, it absolutely is. It just happens to take place far in the past. And the story doesn't focus on Assassins versus Templars. Because that's what Origins really... Origins was showing the beginning of that, of the Assassin. With Odyssey and Valhalla, we're looking at the gods, for lack of a better word. The Isu, the first civilization. That's the focus of those games. And with um, Mirage, it's probably going to be a, ba a balance of the two. Because he's a hidden one, full-blown. And also heavily involved with Loki and Odin. So that's going to be a huge deal in the game. They do it. I don't know. I don't know how far into Basim's life they're going to go to. But we know Basim starts losing his sense of identity eventually. Unity was hated, but it gains praise. Yeah, well, you know, it's funny about that. Unity, I don't know. Personally, like, I don't think Unity, I like the game. I don't think the characters were very interesting. I think the characters were a little boring compared to some of the other games. Having said that, like, what does that mean that Unity was hated? You know, was it hated by people that didn't even plan to play the series? I think, 
I think that's more accurate to say. Like, it was hated by people that were going to hate it no matter what because they weren't even planning on playing it anyways. Because um, the game still sold really well. <laughs> it still sold like crazy. So it's like, well, who hated it so much that they didn't buy it? You know, like, I, I think a lot of the people that hated it are just parroting talking points. I'm not saying the game was perfect. It's literally not one of my favorite games. It, it's really not. Um, I think there's a lot of boring aspects to it, but, you know, they did a good job crafting a French uh, French Revolution era France. It looks good. It plays. It played well for me. I know some people had issues, but it played well for me. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I don't know. Like, the numbers aren't supporting any of these arguments. And you could argue, you could always make the argument that, well, even bad movies make money because people got to pay to watch them first, right? Well, but why does each game that come out keep breaking records? <laughs> you think at some point people be, oh, the last one sucked. I'm not buying it. But they are. <laughs> They're still buying it. Unity was boring. I could get over it being broken, but it was a bad story. Yeah, and that's kind of how I feel about it. Um, I like the overall universe and the gameplay. But yeah, the story itself, I thought it was going to be like you were leading, uh, you know, France into like a revolution and all this. That's how they advertised it, by the way. And it's not like that at all. The French Revolution was just like something happening in the background. And Arno didn't even have anything to do with it. So, yeah, the story itself was a little boring. I do agree with that. I, I think that's a very valid criticism. Uh, the gameplay was good, though, I thought. And I really liked the co-op. The co-op, I spent so much time on co-op with a buddy just running around doing those missions. That was fun. I do wish that would have stayed in the series. Just like a fun co-op assassin mode. Where you can just have a run around the whole city. Or even just like large sections of it. Shit, I gotta, I gotta heal. I'm getting shot at. See, once you guys get me talking about Assassin's Creed, I don't shut up. But guess what? We're playing Assassin's Creed today. So it makes sense. <laughs> I'm allowed to now. Shit. He's gonna shoot me again. I gotta take that guy out. Oh god. Reload. Who's gonna reload first? Who's gonna reload first? Ha <laughs> ha! I did. Going back to what I was talking about though, like what people like openly hate on things that are popular. Because Sass Creed is still a very popular series. That's Ubisoft's like AAA series. That's their that's their bread maker. That's their money maker. It, it reminds me of one of my one of my friends, one of my close friends. He thinks if you talk to him, Assassin's Creed sucks. They're all the same. They're boring. But when you get into details, you know what the last game he played was? Two, and he never finished it. And that's always the conversation. He played one, he played two, and he hasn't touched any other game after that. But of course, oh, the series is awful. It's boring. They make too many of them. They're all the same, but you've only played one and two. So what? you have no idea what you're talking about. But 100% of the time, that's always where the conversation leads. When you start asking questions, it's like, oh, so you haven't played anything. You're just copying headlines of like a, random YouTube channels, right? That also haven't played it, by the way. I miss the co-op, but I hated playing with the amateurs. Yeah, no, I only played with friends. And we, like, ranked up together, and it's so much fun. I, I love co-op. I do miss that. Unity was hated because of the glitches? Yeah, I mean, I also think that was over-exaggerated. I think that's what happens with most games, though. Like, you hear about how game-breaking they are, and then you play the game, you're like, but none of that's happening to my copy for some reason. Is my copy special? No. I think that's... Which, I'm not discounting that people had serious issues with the game, but... I don't think they were as widespread as the internet made it seem, or as dramatic as the internet made it seem. Because I bought that game on launch. I bought it on launch. And I did have some small issues. The issues I had, I had some FPS drops, some pretty decent FPS drops too, like during large crowds. That was true. Um, that doesn't bother me that much, though. It does really break the game for me. And also, I had another issue where... Um, the chemical something. There was like some pre-order mission that the game, like for months and months, it wouldn't let me download it. It just wouldn't work. It wouldn't install. And then eventually there was an update and it let me install it. But that's it. Like I didn't have game breaking bugs that didn't let me finish the game. And I played that game day one. <laughs> Oops. I did like the murder investigations, even though they weren't nearly as in depth as they should have been. 
I think that's the first game that had them too, right, Rogue? Unity? Because they, they kept them going in Syndicate. I think Unity was the first one that, that had those investigations. See, I think that was Unity's strength, though, was the gameplay. The story, though, I, in my opinion, I think the story was definitely the weak point of the game. Which is a shame, because, like... They crafted a beautiful world. It looks really good and has a lot to do in it. But then, like, to me, the story around it, like, it, w it didn't really have me, like, dying to figure out what's going to happen next like a lot of these do. I remember I got a glitch or something in Dead Kings, and that's the last I ever played AC. Dead Kings. Um, Dead Kings, I didn't think was that great either. I like the ending, though, when you actually get the apple and you're, like, destroying all those dudes effortlessly. I thought that was awesome. <coughs> Yeah. Oh, as a reminder, if you guys are enjoying the stream, make sure you drop some likes. We have almost 40 viewers and only 16 likes. Let's drop some likes so uh, we, we can so YouTube shares it around. Hopefully, I couldn't get behind Unity's story. Yeah, I I think the problem with Unity's story was how misleading it was because, like I said, the watch the trailers for it. They're talking about like start a revolution and all this, and Arno's at the front of the revolution. Everyone's following him, and it's like, whoa! When you play the game, you're like, hold up. The French Revolution starts, like, in between a cutscene, and then, like, you don't even... He had nothing to do with it. You're not even involved in it. It's just happening in the city. It's like, hold up. This is not what was advertised. I mean, you gotta get people to buy it, though, right? Oh, God. He's gonna shoot me. Nope! Screw you. I'm igniting this. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. Okay. It seems I'm gonna brawl. Oh, look, these ladies of the night are helping me. Thank you, ladies of the evening. Of the late afternoon. False advertising at its finest, yep. That's how they get people to buy this stuff. It reminds me of Odyssey also. If you look at Odyssey, there's one where it's Alexios. It's it's their live action trailer. It's Alexios. Like, everyone's running out of some Greek city, screaming, and, and Alexios enters, like, a Greek hero, and, and he's fighting Medusa in the middle of the city, and it's like, hold up. Medusa's in the game, but she's, like, hidden in some random place you gotta find. Like, some mystery forest. She's not openly attacking some random city, and everyone's running, screaming. And then it turns out Alexios isn't even the canon character. It's Cassandra. I was like, oh, you bastards got me again. I've been fooled. Bamboozled. Foiled. But yeah, the uh, I think a lot of the people that are, oh, this is an Assassin's Creed crowd, are the same people that join the Resident Evil bandwagons that are like, oh, Village is not Resident Evil. Or Resident Evil 7 is not Resident Evil. I, I think it's that same crowd. They, they all run in the same circles that if any kind of gameplay changes or evolves, it's not the series anymore. But then also, if the series keeps going the way it is, they're also going to say that every game is the same thing. So, like, there's going to be a certain group of people that you're not going to be able to please no matter what you do. So, that's why I think they should just focus on the fans. And I think that's something Resident Evil and, and Assassin's Creed overall have done really well. Because, I mean, yeah, they've, they've clearly kept the fans happy. They've clearly been doing something right because the numbers show it. If they weren't, the numbers would not show that. <laughs> Shay die in Unity? No, Shay does die in Unity. Shay's not even in Unity outside of the, the little beginning portion, technically. <clears throat> you remember the argument? Is AC is stale, combat too easy, and then it changes in Origins, they still cry. Yeah, no, that's exactly my point uh, from before, because the reason they even changed the gameplay was a direct response to fan feedback that the games are starting to feel too similar. And you know what? I agree with that. Because Syndicate... By the time of Syndicate and Unity, like, yeah, the gameplay... It was... Be I still enjoyed it. But was it so different from each other? No. The series needed that kind of jumpstart, that refresher. Just like they did with Resident Evil. They, they give it a jumpstart, they, they change some stuff drastically, and breathe new life into it. And then later, you can go back and... and, and 
you know, back and forth between different styles, which is where we're seeing Resident Evil now. Now they're mixing it up in various ways, and we're seeing that with this series now. Look at Mirage. And then we're still getting a giant game with the Japan one. So I'm, now they're in a healthy spot where they can mix and match gameplay styles. There's something for everybody. Um, but yeah, it, it, it was a direct response to fan feedback that people wanted something new and they came up with something very new, a whole new type of gameplay. And it was awesome. It allowed for an even larger world and a lot more to do. Um, and it's not the same old, same old. And then slowly they put little bits of gameplay from the classic Assassin's Creed mixed in there throughout Odyssey and Valhalla. And now here we are with the Mirage and another evolution of the games. People got to allow games to change. You know, if it's a long running franchise, you got to let it breathe. You got to let it change up to see where it takes you. <clears throat> Shay should have died in Liberty. Then again, he should have died in Rogue. Oh, Rogue Dragon. I cannot wait till I stream Assassin's Creed Rogue. <laughs> I know you're going to be there in the front row booing Shay the whole time. I have to do what I have to do, though. I have to. The main talking points of the channel, Star Wars, AC, and Resident Evil. Yeah, I think those are the three things that could get me really going. Like, in a ramp. At least Ubisoft never pulled a graphical downgrade on AC like they did with Watch Dogs. Did they? I never finished Watch Dogs 1. I have all of them due to, like, Game Pass and PlayStation Plus. But, yeah, I, I've, I've restarted Watch Dogs, I think, like, twice already. And I've never finished it. You have an approach in mind? I'll engage him in combat. And you I thought Codename Jade was China. Jade is. Jade is China. That's a mobile game. Suddenly screaming. But Red is the Japan one. Bring yourself to kill That's going to be a big like not. RPG style one like Valhalla. Like but yeah, Jade's the mobile one. That's that China. Must have left you with like 200 BC fever. China or something like that. Can we go now? <clears throat> Don't forget food as a channel oh, topic. We love talking about food. I do love talking about food. We need food to survive. It's a good thing. <laughs> Admit it, Rona. Deep down, you like the walk of that cock. I can arrange to have you and some of him that flog in two Did she say? Did he say she likes the walk of that cock? Is that what he said? I didn't read the subtitles, but I heard it. <laughs> Get out of my way. Here's a food topic. Starting hot dogs and tortillas instead of buns. Uh, stop it. Don't don't come here and ruin hot dogs. Just let hot dogs be classic, all right? Put it in a bun with ketchup and onion and cheese or whatever else you like. Just, just leave it alone, man. But don't mess with hot dogs. Let hot dogs be classic. You're gonna you're gonna be like Denomi over here, ruining pizza with pineapples. <laughs> Oh shit, I'm getting killed, man. Wait. No! Oh my god. I got annihilated. Well, technically my uh my my uh my partner got annihilated. I did nothing wrong. Hey Flint! Ha! Not much of a shot, are you Flint? Hold on, wait, 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 don't shoot me. Come here, Hillary Flint. Oh, she's hauling ass. Oh, my God. Oh, Hillary's a man? I knew he would end in fire. I assumed Hillary was a woman. Positions would be reversed. Do you like mushroom pizza? Hell no. Knowing there was one less I'm a basic bitch world. when it comes to pizza. What a pity. I could never fight together on the correct side of things. Would, uh, you two like a moment alone? I'm a change man. I was fed hot dogs and tortillas last week. It, ble it brainwashed you? No. <laughs> it's too late. Let me tell you guys something that'll change your life. I, I mean it. I saw a TikTok video on this. And I tried it. His charms uh, used up. If you eat McDonald's breakfast, McDonald's breakfast, I don't, I've never thought it was that great. There is one item I really like from McDonald's breakfast, though, in particular, the bacon, egg, and cheese on my griddle. I don't know why. I think it's just, it's really good. Well, I saw a TikTok video where someone said, go to McDonald's. Some of you might know this already. I had no idea. 
go to McDonald's, because you know what they do, they put the, like, the yellow fake folded egg or whatever. Um, but go to McDonald's, and when you order McGriddle, what you want to say is substitute the egg for the, the round egg, or you can also say a real egg. Uh, they put the McMuffin egg in there, which is like a, the round white, like a real egg, with the McGriddle instead. It doesn't cost anything extra. It doesn't cost anything extra, but they'll substitute it with the real round egg. It's so good. I I have I've been eating a little too much McDonald's breakfast now just because of that shit. <laughs> so you get the McGriddle, ask for the round egg, and they'll do it. Uh it is delicious. And it doesn't cost a penny egg. It does cost extra on the app because the app doesn't have a way to substitute it. It it thinks you're asking for an extra egg. So you gotta tell them like through the drive thru or in person. I'm telling you, it, it's a game changer. I tried it and I was like, my life has now changed. Instantly. Like, I saw other galaxies and shit. It was amazing. Alright, a corrupted officer is stealing from merchants in Havana's rich district and using the money to fund Templar operations elsewhere. Sounds like every Templar you fight. I love how totally impossible these animus deathbed conventions are. It's funny because when do these happen? Like, there's literally... You're surrounded by people, and they're having a full conversation. And then when the person dies, everyone starts coming after you again. But at least they're patient, and, you know, they, they let you do your thing, I guess. There. You paid for your crimes. I'm out. Goodbye. Alright, let's go to the main missions. Oh, shit. Look at all these guys. There's another SAS contract over here. Am I going to be able to get away, though? There's too many of them over there. Oh, wow. Look at all of them. They don't know where I am, though. Screw that. Some murderous criminals have escaped from the fort and are hoping to flee from Havana. First opportunity. Find and kill them. McDonald's has Big Mac sauce as a side. But, uh, I've, never, I've never been big into the Big Mac sauce. Ever since I learned it has, like, like pickles and relish in it, I guess. I just, ugh. I can't. I don't like it. I've never been a big fan of the, the Big Mac sauce. In AC1, they would give a whole lecture to Altier. <laughs> Before croaking, yeah. Well, a lot of the ones that don't make sense are in Valhalla, also. Like, they do some weird, like, otherworldly stuff, and then they just, like, vanish. I, I guess it's, like, the animus making it all stylistic or something, but... I don't know. Wait, where is he? Oh. Well, hold on, hold on. I wasn't ready yet. I wasn't ready for a chase yet. I have no ammo. <laughs> I, I, was, I was trying to shoot him and I ran out of bullets. Alright, well, I need this jackass out of the way, so... Collateral damage. There you go. Alright, sir? Your name is on that piece of paper, so... I must kill you. Oh, shit. Look how fast he's going. Oh, my God. Wait, which one is he? Did I lose him? The hell did he go? Oh, what the fuck? He's up there? Okay, now... Oh, no, 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 no. This guy... This guy's gonna get it. He's gonna get it real good. I see you. I'm coming. I'm coming. This is a rooftop chase. I'm gonna cut him off. I'm gonna cut him off. Hopefully. My god, look at him go! Here we go. Alright, now we're on the same level. You asshole. I should spare him since he's trying so hard. But I have a job to do. <laughs> oh man, just I, I need him. No, 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 hold on. We gotta make it more dramatic than that. Here. There. Boom. <laughs> now he's dead for sure. Alright, let's go do a main mission. Because I'll, I'll, I'll be here all day just like finding more targets. Main mission over here. We will sail over here. There, we're good to go. 
I spent fifty dollars the last time they had McRibs, and what you spent fifty dollars on McRibs? Did I read that right? What do you mean? Why? How? Get the main As much as I hate Rogue, the Headless Horseman Easter egg was cool. Yeah, Rogue. When are we playing Rogue? Let's see. Because after this is Freedom Cry. No. Yeah, yeah, Freedom Cry. After this is Freedom Cry, and then we play Rogue. And we have to do terrible, terrible things in Rogue. Unfortunately. But we must. What do you have? Rum and sugar. I don't need your stuff. Devil's Advocate. What the hell's happened here? Were you attacked? Freedom crying the Avalon. Oh, the Avalon. Yes, I forgot about that. Where Blackbeard who struck first opened fire on a British man of war, the pillock. What in God's name for? Still searching for medicines, but he's gone bar me if you ask me. I'll bring him home. Leave him, man. He's heaped this trouble on himself. T He's desperate for medicine because he had syphilis. He was like deep in syphilis. I don't know if they mentioned that in this game, though. I think this is when he, uh... Is this when he was barricading Charleston or whatever? No, I don't think so. Like, Charleston, South Carolina, I think it was that Blackbeard basically shelled trying to get... Trying to get, uh, medicine. Let's ride this quote! Locate the Queen Anne's Revenge. And a lot of people don't realize Queen Anne's Revenge, he actually sunk that boat. He crashed it before his uh, time as a pirate was over. Captain, there's a wreck yonder. Looks recent. What's your favorite Blackbeard portrayal? You know who did a really good job as Blackbeard? Is um, in um, Black Sails, Ray Stevenson, which, man, it sucks. He just passed away recently. Another bit of wreckage, Captain. He's never going to see himself in Ahsoka. Hi. I always liked Ray Stevenson as an actor. He played a good Blackbeard. Last. This is getting well out of hand. A dozen crates of medicine should not be so hard to come by. That ain't my meaning. It's facts and hornet gold and this pointless feud of that. Can't you feel it? I do. I. <coughs> but both men have their hearts in a good place. Both want the best. Oh, Sand Dune! Is that the best force for us? Saving a city that ain't worth much. We're not men made to govern. We take and spend and live heartily wherever we go. What solution would you propose? The answer's in wealth, power, not politics. If we found the observatory... I like how they're talking about how, like, Hornigold and Blackbeard are each other's throats. Hornigold's a dick, man. Lord of these kings and emperors like they was passing themselves. A lot of large talk, Captain. But is it your crew you sail for? Yes, sir. I mean the best of these men, I do. I just don't sit right Running errands, not living my life. God. That's funny. He said, I feel like I'm running errands, not living my life. And we're literally doing side quests. That, that's the definition of errands. Where is the Queen Anne's Revenge? I can't see a damn thing. Where am I on this map? All the way out here in the middle of nowhere. This game Have a Sep. Oh, you got a Sephiroth tattoo in your bag? That's cool. Swing goes on my left arm, so I move my arm. The wing moves, too. That's really cool, actually. I want to get another tattoo so bad. Good ones are so expensive, though. Maybe next year. I want some Dragon Ball tattoos real bad. I've been wanting some. Is that it? Nope, that's a British flag. That's definitely not Blackbeard. Thatch! Pirates of the Caribbean made Blackbeard OP with his sword and his ship. Who played Blackbeard in that? Wasn't it the uh, Winston from uh, John Wick? That He was Blackbeard, right? Lovers. This you motherfucker, where going. is he? Alive, There's so many like people like <laughs> drowning in the ocean. I can't stop and save them, I'm busy. I got shit to do. There it is. That's Blackbeard's flag right there. We got him. All right, Edward. I just realized they're both Edwards. Ian McShane. Yeah, that's the actor's name. 
I always think of John Wick when I think about him. Hello, Blackbeard. Abe, see that? It's her captain, the Queen Anne's Revenge. And she's in a bad way. No time for a boat. Sanchez is outnumbered. The crew will understand. Beat the quarters, lads. All right. We're sailing into the We're going to save Blackbeard's ass. We're going ashore. I'll keep the jackdaw circling. Mariguana Island. Oh, shit. No, you're both learning. He's definitely outnumbered. I'm coming, my friend. Five hours and six hours in a chair. I gotta get my back tattoo replaced. I have a tattoo on my back also, but it doesn't mean it. I got it, like, on my 18th birthday. Literally, I just decided to go get one. And I got, like, some, like, it's like a dragon head. It's like a tribal tattoo. Which, you know, back then was all the rage. But now it's like, it doesn't really mean anything. I don't really like I never really liked it. It was like four hours me sitting there getting one. That was my first tattoo. They were like, you're crazy. Getting this is your first tattoo because it's big. And it, I mean, yeah, it hurts technically, but I like the... It sounds weird, but I like the feeling of getting a tattoo. It feels like a hot needle pricking your skin almost. It's relaxing to me. Um, but I do want to get it replaced eventually. I don't know with what. I do want to get a cover-up to get something I actually like. And on my left shoulder, I have a Punisher skull. But it just looks like a stamp. I never liked it. I got it one day. One of my buddies, he wanted to get a Batman so I went with him. And the guy was like, hey, 50 bucks, you want a tattoo? And I was like, yeah, sure. And I just did it off a whim. I want to get that one covered up, too. On my back, I might, I don't know, I might replace it with like a Mortal Kombat dragon or something. I think that might be easy to, to cover up. The one on my back might be kind of hard to cover up. But with a good enough artist, they can really cover up anything. You just got to get a good artist. No tattoos, never could figure out what to get. I thought about the Rune of Punishment. Here's the good thing about tattoos, though. And, and this is a talking point for, like, I guess older generations that are anti-tattoo. Uh, it's always like, oh, it's permanent. If you regret it, you're screwed. Not really. I mean, there's cover-ups. You can just get a cover-up of something you like better. Like, I'm planning on it. Like, no, they're not really permanent. And also, there's technology to remove tattoos, if you want to go that far. But just cover it up with something you like better. Easy. You can get an Autobot or Decepticon. Yeah. There's so many different ones I want. If I had unlimited wealth, <laughs> I, I would probably be covered up, to be honest. I'd probably be all tatted up. But yeah, tattoos are very expensive. But again, for good ones. You get cheap tattoos anywhere, but chances are it's going to look cheap. You, you gotta... With tattoos, you very much get what you pay for. Most of the time. Maybe you should get a flea man tattoo? Hell no. <laughs> Why would I get a tattoo of something I hate? Although Castlevania tattoos are sick. Oh, they're shooting me. They're shooting me, man. Damn you, Blackbeard. You got me into these troubles. Now you do have to get tattoos re-inked or they do fit. Yeah. Yeah. Um, as much as you take care of tattoos... Like, for, if you go to the beach, you, you have to put sunblock on them. And no matter what you do, that's true. They will fade. The one, like, I have one right here. Where I have, like, two dragons wrapped around my shoulder. One's blue and one's red. You can't even really see the colors anymore. Um, yeah, they definitely fade. So, if you, especially if you have a lot of color in it, you want to get it touched up over time. Luckily, touch-ups aren't very expensive, but I have a gun. It's like, for me, instead of touch-ups, I'm just going to cover them up with something else I like better. You should get a Sue How tattoo? God. So you want me to get tattoos of the worst things ever? Tattoo flea men, Sue How. <laughs> Just awful things. What's that? I'm gonna get a minions tattoo? Kill the captain. Oh shit, wait, oh, oh a lot of stuff going on. Oh my god. But I don't know, like, one of the main cover-up I want to do is on my back. Because I, I, I don't really like that one. It'd be cool getting the Belmont Crest. That'd be kind of cool. That wouldn't be a bad touch-up. Or that wouldn't be that hard to... Because the Belmont Crest from the Netflix series, like, that would cover up my back tattoo easily. What about a Resident Evil Hunter tattoo? 
I don't see. I don't want a bunch of random stuff. Like when I'm playing it, you're like right here. I got. You guys have seen this a million times. I got the Assassin's Creed. I can never put the right angle on camera. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, right there. How do? How, how can I turn my arm? right there? <laughs> got the black the with the banner there. I love that tattoo. That one's my favorite one. But eventually, I want to do my whole arm. But I, I don't know. Like, cause you don't want just a bunch of random shit on your arm. You want it all to flow together. You know. And on my right, my right arm, I'm thinking of making that like a whole Dragon Ball arm. Just have a bunch of Dragon Ball tattoos on there. There's an anime artist. It's an interesting story. I found a random anime artist on Instagram that lived in L.A. And I was like, man, if this guy was close, like, I would love, I would fly to L.A. to get tattooed with this guy. Like, some of the best, like, anime art style and tattoos I've ever seen. Like, it looks literally like, he looks like someone that probably worked on the anime. In the Dragon Ball, like, it's, it's so skilled. Because anime artwork, like, you gotta be good at drawing that style for it to come out good on a tattoo. And then, he coincidentally moved to Central Florida, and he's like half an hour away from me. And I was like, yo, but he's expensive. I got some clothes for him, and like, he's, he's very expensive. But it looks amazing. <laughs> Is your family chill when you get tattoos? Yeah, I mean, my fiance, she's got one like on her, on her foot, but she's not like a big tattoo person. Like she's just like doesn't like beetles and stuff. She got one when she was a teenager with her like best friend, like a butterfly. But um, she likes them, and she she pretty much lets me do whatever. <laughs> Step on it. My extended family, though, like my parents are more like, oh, ugh, tattoos, ugh. That's what thugs do. But yeah, my father, especially, because he's like old school Hispanic. Like, tattoos are for thugs, uh, gang members. And it's like, come on. Like, that's outdated as fuck. Anytime you want to go down that rabbit hole, Sebastian, let me know. Oh. Did not like the Final Fantasy VII ending after finishing the game. I was confused. Well, that's because that's not really the ending. <laughs> it's just the beginning of the, the, the Final Fantasy remake saga, I guess you could call it. Alright, Thatch, where did you sail off to this time? All the way over here, goddamn. Oh, here it is, this, the Siege of Charleston. This is where you really started messing up, Blackbeard. Okay, his parents are more worried about him swearing on stream, yeah. <laughs> I remember once like, my father made that comment. Like he saw one of my streams, like, "Oh, you were cursing." He's like, "You shouldn't be doing that." Like, "Don't be fucking brave." <laughs> like, come on. Like I said, it's 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 old school thinking. But that's what you get with like old school Hispanic straight from the island. Like, nobody cares if you swear anymore. It was funny too because uh, my father once made the comment like. Well, what if one day, like, you know, you're looking for a job, and first of all, I, I always have to constantly be like, I have a job. This is what I do. I have to, con but they, the, to them, like, the jobs are like you're sitting in an office with a master's degree. Fuck that. <laughs> Been there, done that, hate it, never again. But, oh, uh, no, he was telling me, like, oh, what if you're streaming and, like, someone, you know, you look for a job and you said something that, that, that makes them not want to hire you. I'm like, well, I, I hope they like and subscribe at least. <laughs> you should get a tattoo of eggplant wizard on one arm and king hippo on the other. I yeah, you know how little people are gonna understand that? They're gonna be like, what is that? Why do you have an eggplant? Who's eggplant wizard? It's just gonna be old nerds like us. Hey old bonnet! Flying your own flag at last. Yes. Yes, Blackbeard cut me loose, sadly. Time to have a go at this myself. <laughs> Black people oh, fuck off. Yes, it's for the best, I He's think. got his own little boat. I should have some wild stories when next we meet. Edward, your constant friendship has been my most treasured find on these seas. Well above gold and silver and rum, I, I promise. Too bad he got hanged in real life. This year. Thank you, sir. A fair good morrow to you. A fair good morrow to you. Goodbye, Stead Bonnet. He will forever be my, my friend that I met in Cuba. Yeah, I remember this. Are you not loved? No. Are you not wanted by your wives? Blackbeard was losing it. And country 
Freeman? How else to explain your government's complete disinterest in your well-being? Is this last you see this guy before he gets himself killed? Stead Bonnet? I think so. I think he got arrested and hanged sometime around this time. Sometime around this era. Blackbeard character. Look how dirty is he look. Christ. This is my predicament. To kill you. Or to press you into my servant. It's a decision I'll make hardly, but not with remorse. Ahoy, Edward. What the hell are you doing, man? All of Charleston can see this mess. It's the idea. Out of range, but well in sight. Dizzler Blackbeard starts being completely reckless. We sent a party ashore to partner with the governor. That were a week ago. No noise since. I remember at the end I saw he was dead and I didn't realize he had died. I don't think they actually show it. Just historically, he, he was one of the pirates that got hanged. But yeah, I don't, I don't recall them showing it in the game. I... Thing it happens elsewhere, and you're not really involved in it. But yeah, he's there. <laughs> it's like, hey, I got hanged. There's movement up ahead. Is it soldiers? I am in something of a hurry. I propose we follow, else they spring something we ain't ready for. God, look at all these marshes. Got to be careful around here. That's where you got to look at the map. Blackbeard wasn't arrested and he wasn't hanged. He was deemed too dangerous to let live and immediately executed. Well, you know what sucks about Blackbeard, too. <clears throat> he actually, at one point, he had completely retired and, like, taken a pardon. And then, uh, he was done. He would have been fine if he had just finished. But he went right back to it. He went right back to it and they finally decided, like, catch and kill him. So that's crazy. Like, the fact he could just let it go. He was going to do, like, one more job. He did it, and then he decided to retire for real. But that's that's essentially what what got him screwed. Like he was done, they're like, okay, let's leave him alone. And then he did it again, and they're like, nope, it's over. Thought about an eternal darkness tattoo, the sanity healing spell. That's interesting green runes in a circle like they appear that'd be awesome and that's unique enough to where like you know it's not like a generic thing that everybody has because eternal darkness is kind of a niche game at this point but i think that that's cool though because the, the like only a few select people would understand what that is gotta watch out for those towers well, JC is the most tragic and sad ending of the hero. I don't know. You know, Arno's story, as, as not interesting as overall story is, it's, it's pretty sad. <laughs> He's just kind of all alone, and he lost someone he loves, and he never gets a resolution. <laughs> He's just kind of depressed afterwards, and it never goes away. I mean, Bayek and Ayas are tragic as hell. Their, their whole... The entire founding of the Brotherhood was based off someone off their pain. And it's interesting because it shows, like, the foundations of both the Templars and uh, the Assassins, how different they are just even on their founding. Like, the Assassins were really founded out of love for their lost child. And then you got the Templars that were founded for, with the need for control. So th that shows, like, the difference between the two ideologies, like, from their very beginnings, were, were it, like, they, they, they can't reconcile with each other. Because they were just born from two very different needs. Excuse me. 
Excuse me. No alarms in my house. <clears throat> Look at that, now I gotta tail the gunboat. We even have a tailing mission on the damn boat. Like, while I'm on my damn boat, I mean. Edward's story comes to a tragic end. Yeah, unfortunately, in the game, we never see it. I hate the way they end Edward's story. I honestly, I think, had it been now, like, if they hadn't written that story, seeing how popular Black Flag got, and now we're revisiting Edward. They got the Webtoon series that's on, like, episode five already. I think now they probably, had they written a story now, I think they would have changed it. I don't think they would kill him off. Speed up, man. Not as alone as Connor. Well, Connor, Connor, he had a child, though. Not in the game, but afterwards, he got married and had a child. So technically, Connor's not even alone anymore. After the game, of course, I mean. Steady as she goes, Captain. Come on. Don't crash. They're getting away, Captain. And I'll have to go on without her. Time to go on foot. I remember. I don't remember why, but I remember this mission being pain in the ass to do the, the bonus objective. I don't remember what it was though. I think it was like don't get seen or something. I heard there was a stream once where someone swam from one side of the map, <laughs> just to the other side in a straight swim. Holy shit! You know how tired Edward would have to be to swim from one side of the ocean to the other in this game. That's hilarious. That's actually really funny that someone would go out of their way to do that. Let me try to 100% this one. Alright, I skinned one. I gotta use two more sleep darts on alligators. I'm saying, crocodiles. Jason, welcome. Kind of like swimming. Oh, I don't like swimming. It's kind of like sand, but worse. I don't like swimming in games either. But sometimes you must. And the tailing continues. Ah, another alligator. Alright, one more and I get the bonus objective. Hopefully I can just ignore these guys. Oh, alligator. Yes, I got three of them. Perfect. That's what I needed to do. Shouldn't it be a gator, not a croc? I think they just use it interchangeably. I mean, they do have American crocodiles. I don't know. I'm not a... a, a Zoologist. Well, keep in mind, this game also shows Florida with, like, big Rocky Mountains. <laughs> That's 100% incorrect. You will not find them anywhere in Florida, big Rocky Mountains. They don't exist. We're below sea level. We're very flat. Everywhere. I mean, I can get seen. It doesn't matter. Oh, I thought I could get seen there. In Florida, we call them shoes. Yeah, we see them all the time in Florida. Oh, man. Most people don't know the difference. Yeah. Well, it, what the difference doesn't matter. No matter what, I'm not getting close to the damn thing. <laughs> so there's that. 
Alligator crocodile. I'm not going near it. Lucky guy driving. All right, see you later, dummy. Thank you for hanging out. Oh, you know, tonight when the stream is over, if anyone else is streaming, I'm going to try that uh, uh, redirect feature again. I don't know if it works. I've been dying to test it out. Cause I've, just, I've seen how YouTube's made changes to it. It's supposed to work really well now. But I haven't had a chance to test it. Yeah, I remember why this mission was a pain in the ass now. Go. They're gonna see me, they're gonna see me. Oh, they almost saw me. Almost. All right, I'll let them catch up. This reminds me of the Headquarters in the Swamps from the Patriot movie. I haven't seen that movie in years. That Mel Gibson movie. I remember liking it, but I don't, it's been so long since I've seen it. Speaking of Florida, how does the guy smash into a power station or whatnot, cause an outage, and then run around naked? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. That happened in this region, apparently. Then he got arrested. He must have been on something. Clearly, that's not normal. Have you seen the big annoying heart icon YouTube decided to randomly put over chat? Yes. I was in Aussie stream yesterday and it was driving me crazy. It was annoying. Because, like, you're trying to hit the chat button and you can accidentally hit it. I don't know why they did that. It's really annoying. There better not be any crocodiles around here. There's one. The sleep darts help out tremendously here. So I don't have to worry about jumping over here and doing all these gymnastics. I just follow them on foot. The Taku gifted a membership to Lunchbox. Let me jot you down. Like Cabal said, thank you. Die, monster. <laughs> you th th thank you very much. World. Elvis Cabal. Damn, we're really hungry. I want pizza. Why do I want pizza? We were talking about pizza earlier, weren't we? <laughs> Maybe that's why I want some. Hello. Oh! Snake eater. Oh, I gotta get the fuck out of this water now. It's a crocodile feeding frenzy. Nope, gotta go. This is this is a lunchroom for them. Holy crap, that was close. I thought it was going to be lunch meat. I wonder if I should use Berserk Dark. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I got to get out of this water. Now I just got to eavesdrop. I wonder what happens if I hit a, a crocodile with a Berserk Dart. I don't know if it'll work. All right. Let me get into this conversation. They're too busy fighting over here. There was an accident. Private Simon, this crocodile. I don't care about your accidents. What's the word? Have you heard of a cult based on Final Fantasy VII? There's a final a cult. No, I have not heard of a cult around Final Fantasy VII. Near as we can tell. Perhaps it's time to to surrender. Oh! Almost saw me. To surrender. I've been entrusted with the affairs of the town. And I do not intend to bow to the demands of the DeSantis is probably like pineapple pizza, but it's too Italian for him. Yes, sir. As long as the supply... I don't know. He probably doesn't even like pizza. He's a horrible person. <laughs> Edward almost got eaten like Captain Hook. I know. I had to get out of the water real quick. Pirates! 
Look up the Final Fantasy house. Is it an actual cult? Maybe they're just fans. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I guess some fans can be kind of cultish. Maybe they're just very passionate fans, I guess. Like, would people, maybe some people think I'm part of an Assassin's Creed cult because I love the series, you know? Kill, oh! Kill the captain and feed him to the crocodiles. It's all an ass. Alligator! Oh! That was kind of cool, actually. Oh, come on, I shot him. And I didn't miss. There we go. They believe they have the actual souls of the characters in them, so they're lunatics. <laughs> basically. Luckily it made you as good an offer as ever a man got from any pirate. You might curse his methods, but medicine was all he wanted. And now he'll get it. You should have bothered, mate. Messed up, dude. So they believe they have the souls of, like, Cloud, who are not yes, actual dead, real characters. They're video game characters. What's the take? Two crates. And the means for mixing additional doses. Uh, that's right thinking. Precious little of that these days. You hear that, Mr. Rax? My young friend returns with offerings and so saves your scrawny neck. See, Blabby, he just wanted to take a trip to the well, pharmacy you know, real quick. That's all. That's all he wanted. We should quit these waters, Thatch. The governor, he's bound to muster more soldiers. You go on ahead, huh? I got some business in the north. You're done, aren't you? Giving up on us. On NASA. Look, lad. I'm late into my fourth decade on this earth. And if I don't find some means to make the fifth, quiet and cozy voyage i'd rather sink to the devil's doorstep than call myself captain another year now we'll meet again lad in this world so the gold I age of piracy is coming apart It's considerate of all these guys to stop chasing you and stand back while you have a death talk with them, I know. But, uh, you know, at least they're being polite. Are we going back to modern day now? Yeah, sometimes playing this game, I forget there's a modern day component. I don't think it forces you out into the modern day as much as some of the others. You have a minute? I'm on my way upstairs. IDV wanted to talk with us about putting together a trailer using some of the footage you've been recording this past month. Honestly, the modern day is not very interesting. Over here. At the end, it Are you is. Ready? He's waiting for us. All right. Let's go. Who's waiting? CCO. I just watched some of your footage from this week. It's amazing. Blackbird was mental. And we all got so excited that we started talking about this idea for a trailer about him. Maybe start with him drinking, talking to some pirates, telling a story. Does that Templar coat belong to Shay? What, the one you unlock in the game? Then... We cut to him leaping across I don't remember what it looks boat. like. Sorry, his ship. She no, wasn't even... Well, Shelling actually, this game was made around the same time as... They were made simultaneously. I mean, obviously, we're going to have to manipulate some of the existing footage to get it looking good, but it could be great. I'm getting a shiver in the timbers just thinking about it. Isn't the main villain in this game a gaming company? They're not the main villain, but you're you're a employee. You're a developer working for Abstergo Entertainment. They're like a gaming division of Abstergo, but really, what they're trying to do is have their employees sift through historical data and find oh, all so these artifacts and no. in the public no. version they're just making video games that's the front so they're a front for what oh, the yes, templars are actually up to but none of these people know this stuff only the higher ups like she's just like a regular ass secretary that works there hello hello do you have a second of course you do. Hey. Head to the waypoint on your map. 
I have another job for you. I'd like to link all the cameras in the building to a central monitoring system, but most aren't calibrated correctly. Head to the right of Olivier's office. I, I, I didn't I didn't really care for this aspect of the modern day storyline that they did. And you know what? It didn't even last long. They did it for what this and Rogue and uh I think Unity mentioned it to Abstergo Entertainment, but they 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 moved away from that pretty quick. Fans didn't really care for it in general. I didn't either. Like, it's just another, like, and at one point, like, Ubisoft is a real company that helped them develop these games. It's like, ah, it's a little too, like, I don't like that whole, like, game within a game. It's kind of goofy. Hack the camera control panel. Oh, yes, the boring bit's right. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers to adjust the wave. Not you gotta change the wavelength. Pick a number selector, then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. Was this the first game they linked up with the Watch Dogs game? Yeah, but I don't think... we. I At the time, they we didn't even know about that yet, because this the CCO appeared in Watch Dogs... But th what came out first? This came out first, right? Not Watch Dogs 1. How do I move these? Damn it. I didn't want to open the tutorial when I have to. It looks like you need to find the right combination of numbers. Left and right. Okay. Easy enough, right? Pick a number selector. Then change its value. Once you find the right combination of numbers, you should get access. I remember doing this, but like not looking at the numbers. Just look at the how the 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 graph is moving. That's that's the because looking at the numbers doesn't I don't know it doesn't do anything. You just gotta look at the line. Gotta wonder how different AC would be if the guy that came up with all the story bits stayed with Ubisoft. Yeah, I wonder what direction the story would. It's funny because there's a lot of false narratives around. A lot of people say he was unhappy with the games and he left it. Like that I know of, he left to like start his own company. I don't know what it was, though. I understand that, Leticia. I'm sorry. Like, he wanted to, like, work for himself and start his own thing. We're not trying to be a bottleneck here, but we just don't have the resources right now to do two times the research. Yeah, that guy on the right, he's the one that ends up in Watch Dogs. In one of the... I think that's a side mission, too. I'm too buzzed to look it up. I'm so jealous. I'd go crack open some Kraken if I had rum, if I had coke. Thank you. I don't have any. I look forward to seeing what you deliver. Until then, I'll see you at the shareholders meeting, Olivier. Olivier. Bye-bye. Tabarnak! It's a little too early for that kind of abuse, huh? Come on. So, what's next? as the lady says focus on the observatory yeah see these they're just trying to make like a pirate video game templars. Crazy the templars are I'm they they want to know more about the observatory that's their entire goal how about you break into olivier's office and see if you can find his schedule oh what you don't like that idea well how about i blow the fucking whistle on you hacker i own you <laughs> what i mean is I don't want to ruin your life, so... Do Man, you know what now. the most... Step over to the uh, you know what the most pointless modern-day story was in Assassin's Creed, I thought, was um, the Unity. Remember the modern-day story in that one? Is the, the They're looking for a sage, where the sage is, and then they find out that he got buried in the catacombs. So no one could find him, and then they're like, "Oh, problem solved." They're never gonna be able to find him. It was the most pointless modern day story. Like it starts in nothing and it results in nothing. Like it was completely unnecessary in Unity. Like it has no effect on anything story wise. <clears throat> Does the redhead die in a later game? I don't think so. I don't even remember her in the other ones. I think they just stopped showing her. Can't waltz into Olivier's office through the front door, so I've opened another route. Up we go. Did he know that Abstergo was run by Templars? 
Oh, yeah. Sounds like crackpot stuff, I know. But then again, the moon landing was faked, right? So, anything's possible. Yeah, see, he just revealed that Absurgo's run by Templar. So the person you are, they have no idea. They're just like some developer. They don't know what the hell's right. going on. Either you walk through that door or throw yourself off the terrace. Those and it's interesting. Options. I was reading about, if you notice this character, they never refer to this character as he or she. I was actually reading about that because the character doesn't have a name. The character is whoever you are, the player. Like, that was their idea. So that's why they, they never put a gender on the character. Because it's literally, it's just you, the player. Oh, well, you no, are this person know. walking around. His computer. Make it snappy. So if you Where go on the Wikipedia, the like, there's no name for this character. It's just, it's like, the random developer. Because it's you. I really don't care for the sections. As the data moves, there are security programs constantly monitoring the data flow. You need to sneak past them, or they will destroy your data and send I remember this. Home. This is kind of fun. It reminds you of Frogger. Oh shit. I was there too long. They just put this in here just to have mini games for no reason other than to have something. There we go. The modern day story in between three and Odyssey sucks. Yeah, it's like it, Origins. I thought it started getting interesting, but it just it just continued in Odyssey to improve. Oh yeah, look, check this out. Uh, this right here is actually important. It's from uh, Olivier. It says, as most of you know, I'll be attending the Chicago shareholders meeting from the 15th to the 17th. And they'll want to see our progress with the Kenway line. That right there. He goes to Chicago and that's where Watch Dogs happen. So in Watch Dogs, you're in Chicago and that's that's the mission where you do the side mission and you have to kill them. So kind of interesting. Like that, This is the first time they, they start tying it together. Uh... Oh, and this right here was like some Assassin's Creed Wild West thing. What was this about? I think there was like a comic book or a graphic novel or something they were doing at the time. There's so much little things in, in all these emails that you find that they just never did anything with. You sneaky bastard. A pirate through and through, ain't you? Now, get down to the lobby. To the this is supposed to be Sky on Toronto or whatever right. Ubisoft base. I yeah, I think it's Montreal. I think that's now what it's wait. supposed to be. Hold on. I'll try something. Reach the lobby. I just want to jump back into the Animus. <laughs> Let's be real. I just want to go back to the pirate days. Let's go. I've got to go back out here. Does Dead Sex support the assassins? Uh, I only played part of the first one. But uh, Dead Sec, a lot of people think Dead Sec and the Assassins are like the same. They're not. It's a completely different organization. But yeah, Dead Sec and the Assassins have worked together plenty of times. Hence, it, it is, in Watch Dogs Legion, you have that other Assassin. Not really gray area whether she's canon or not, but there, there's a, an Assassin that, that you play as. I don't know if they, now, did they add her already? I know they were adding her like post launch. Don't even think about ratting me out. My tracks are covered. Yours ain't. I remember you can find a poster in a Bastergo's office that hints his AC origin. They did that all the time. If you look at uh, Assassin's or uh, the Division, there's a uh, a poster of Vikings holding what looks like an apple of Eden, and it says uh, Valhalla on it. That was the first hint of where the series is going. Did you uh, like the Amos, eh? I practiced. I think you pulled it a little too long. Oh come on. Not encrypted codes, for God's sakes. It's just a bloody coffee. Oh, hooray! It's our old friend. Yeah, it's, it's interesting. Hey Sass Creed Origins originally was going to be a brand new IP called Osiris. Said you were here to see me. That turned yes, into Sass Creed Origins. Yes, that is one of the perks. Let's see it. Hmm. A conference in Chicago. Very nice. Thanks for this. We'll be in touch. Ciao, Rebecca. Text me. Stuff it, Hastings. Did you? Yes. Return to the animus. Let's go. Well done, friend. Very well done. Apologies for my temper tantrum there. You are with the good guys, I promise. We'll keep you safe. 
If someone has to specify that they're the good guys, they're probably not. Sorry, I'm buzzed. Well, you know what? This is a perfect game to get buzzed to. Where is all the rum gone? <laughs> I love these little action figures. Look at these. So cool. Alright. Let's jump back in. I have an awful feeling about this. You'll be hurt out there. I couldn't handle that. I'll be careful, I promise. I'll be hurt, I'll be rich. And when I'm flush with coin and set up, I'll send for you. I will. Caroline, come away! Don't exert yourself! I can't promise I'll come, Edward. If you leave on this fool's errand, I, I cannot promise anything. Don't give up on me, Caroline! Caroline! I need your faith the most. I feel bad for Edward. He just wanted more out of life, you know? Riches and glory. Nassau, Bahamas, July 1718. Putting some shape to your sentiments? Just a short letter home. I reckon she's past caring anyway. Oh, you're a hard heart that should be softer. Or soft in parts that should be hard. <laughs> <laughs> Calico Jack's the asshole. You're so keen for his hard parts, Mr. Rackham. You'd like to know my secrets, would you? Oh, aye. Give me a small hint, like. Or a large one, if you're an upright gentleman. Open your hand. Oh. Who's shooting? Might be them ships sliding into port. Jesus. Really Keep replaying his Pathfinder game, and every time I do, I'm impressed. Yeah, I gotta, um. I gotta play that game you sent me. It actually looked interesting. That's not based on anything, right? Like, it's its, its own IP, isn't it? Like it's not like part of like a like a series. We demand a parlay. Traitor's bastard shoot of now. Who are you talking about? Is there a Hornigold? Hornigold's bastard. I mean so is Calico Jack though. Well, I'll be hanged. George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. Woods Rogers is the ultimate we asshole in this game. parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth if you please. Hear about the king's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? <sighs> Let me live in punk. Based off a of tabletop, Pathfinder tabletop? Oh, I've never heard of that game. I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. You're watching American Psycho? I own that movie. I love that movie. Oh, look, look. Tail Woods Rogers. Once again, we got a tail. I'm eager to hear what you have to say, but of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. I can add you right now, Benjamin Hornigold. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. Only wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals will show their true colors in time. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigold my word that we will be equitable. Won't do you a little good. Men like him are a blight. Every pirate from history is an asshole. I don't know, man. So some of these 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 royals were dicks. Like Woods Rogers. Is this the town square? And the king was just like sucking up all the money and leaving people high and dry. Hence why pirates even came about to begin with. They were screwing over people and leaving them with nothing. The governor's come calling. Bring Burgess and Cork for him as well. Bolt Guns of Warhammer game just came out. I saw that. That looks interesting. They made it look all like old school Doom like. It's kind of cool. 
Oh shit. See, if only I could go in there and just like start a fight and kill all of them, I would basically rescue all pirate kind. The sleep darts are so essential. The Doom style boomer shooter genre is still extremely active. Yeah, I like that. Out of the way, you bastards! Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move. Use berserker dart. I don't want to cause trouble yet. Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants. Then I'll start shooting. And carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. He should be confiscating weapons, Governor. He's coming over here to try and impose himself as the governor. Strong message that the king's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should silence Commodore! The eavesdrop of the Caribbean, that's exactly what this game is. I need to craft some sleep darts. I don't even know if I have any resources to do it. Let's see. Crafting. Sleep darts. Nope. Black jaguar pelts. Man, what do I... I, I need to get some of these upgrades. What do I need? Pistols. I need one more humpback whale. And I need two jaguar pelts for the health. Damn it. I'm so weak right now. Oh, look. That saved me a dart. Cool. Shit, they're gonna see me. See, right there, I go just stab them all. Except the pirates. We leave them alone. Just Woods Rogers and his team. These are the charts, Commodore. We're in position. Governor Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. I don't like governors or governments. You'd be a, you would have been a great pirate then. Although they were trying to form their own government. They were just no good at it. Who are your top 10 AC villains? Shit, I don't know. Top 10. 10's a lot. But I do agree that the Origins people are probably some of the worst, like, despicable villains. Wood Rogers was a good villain, though. Steric from Syndicate. They have a lot of good ones. Kill guards are hanging my ledge. Let's go ahead, and we're going to whip out the Berserk. Let's do them both. I should make a top 10 list one day. Like top 10 uh, AC bad guys. See, I'm training hard. How am I supposed to get in there? I've infiltrated this fort before. When I was trying to clear out the map. You have to go all the way around this way. Actually, can I fast travel? Because look. <laughs> I can just fast travel here. I'm going to cheat. Oh, unavailable. Come on. That would have been perfect. Instead of climbing. Not only were they not good at it, but a lot of them would rather piss off and do nothing than just talk about it. Yeah. I mean, they almost had a nice little democracy going, but... What essentially, historically, what killed off the pirates, the 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 real thing that killed off the the pirates as an organized like governing body uh, was the pardon that the King of England did. 
Because a lot that's what fractured their society, because a lot of pirates took the part and a lot of them wouldn't as pride, most did. <laughs> like there there there's like a list with the uh like well, there's like a list from uh from the king that has like sixteen thousand plus pardons in like a matter of a couple days, which really shows you how vast pirates were. That you you only hear about like Blackbeard, Calco Jack Meanwhile, there's like 16,000 that took a pardon in a couple days. Uh, that's what really began the end of the pirates, because they, they start turning against each other, others start ratting each other out, then their numbers dwindled. So it was easy for the, the, the civilized world, essentially, to come in and just finish off the rest of them through arrest and hanging. So they kind of destroyed themselves in a way. Like, if no one would have taken the pardon, they would have... It would have been like the American Revolution. Because think about it, the American Revolution... America didn't win that war. We didn't win it. England basically just decided it wasn't worth the investment, time, and effort they were putting into it. If England really wanted to, they could have won that war. But it just wasn't worth it anymore. And, like, the, the amounts they were spending on a on colonies all the way across the world. Like, yeah, no, we didn't really win that war. We just didn't lose it. But that's the same thing that would have happened, I think, with, with the piracy. Had they never done the pardon, it would have been the kind of situation where the, the governing empires of the world, like Spain and England, would have been like, fuck it. Like, it's, we're, we're losing tons of supplies of money trying to deal with this problem. Let's leave it alone. Did Haven truly love his son, or he always wanted to kill him despite being proud? Listen to his words as he was dying. <laughs> he told him, like, I'm not going to caress your cheek and apologize. You should have killed you when I had the chance. Haven was not regretful at all. That's not love, no matter how he paints it. I mean, the true assassin giving us history, there you go. I've learned from Assassin's Creed, all right? Who needs history books? It's true though, there's a difference between winning a war and not losing it. <laughs> there's a big difference. Steal damn, how am I supposed to steal those plans? Alright, I'm gonna just kill. I need to clear out these areas. And I need ammo. <clears throat> I thought Hatham was a good villain because he was so uncompromising. Yeah, well, not just that. The fact that he learned that his entire life was a lie. And the Templars took him away from his father and murdered his father. But yet, even after that, he still embraced being a Templar. Because that was more important in the end. Like, he still embraced it. So, yeah, he was truly a bad dude. My girlfriend says you can't learn anything from video games. Uh, put on, like, Odyssey or Origins and turn on Discovery Mode. A discovery Tour Mode. That's amazing. It's literally like you're in school. I love it. But interesting. Haytham tried to convert Connor instead of killing him outright, and that was the extent that he cared for him. He loved the Order. Yeah, that's a great way to describe him, yeah. <laughs> he would love him as long as he was on his side, basically. He never expressed any love for Connor. He only expressed disappointment at his decisions and a sense of pride, slight pride, when he showed courage and killed him. But he did say, I'm sorry, I love you. He said, I should have killed you when I had the chance. But I'm slightly proud of you, Dad. So no, he didn't love Connor. I mean, there was a republic for pirates in an island called NASA. Well, NASA on the Bahamas, yeah. But that that was like their main headquarters. But it was never. It was always in shambles. Like it was never really organized. They struggled to keep that whole place together. NASA didn't historically become like organized until the the after the age of piracy where the governments of the world stepped in and took over for good 
with England and the Spanish. Shit, this guy just found the damn alarm. No, you're not. Oh, he's gonna shoot. Human shield. I don't think he would care for Zio. I think that was just a like, passion and that was it. Possibly, yeah. Cause I don't, he didn't even know her for that long. Did you like Arbaz Mir as a character? Honestly, I thought Arbaz Mir was kind of boring. Sass Creed Aladdin. <laughs> He's alright. In the Chronicles India game, I, I thought was, I didn't care for the story as much. Uh, let me try hang. Yeah. Come here. And then you had pirates like Hornigold, that he was like one of the men dedicated to making Nassau like a functioning democracy, and then he ended up taking the part in and basically became a uh, pirate hunter. So that's another thing. Like that's why the pardon screwed over the pirates, because they they were just kind of out for themselves. You got to realize, uh, a pirate's life in real life was not an easy one. Like it, very rough, awful life. So if they had a chance to like be free of being hanged and they get to go live their life, like yeah, a lot of them took it. They're like, fuck, this is my second chance. All right, what do I have here to work with? I have two panic darts. Let's go ahead and use it on him, big guy. There, right in the ass cheek. And you, yeah, right in the head. And let's see what kind of chaos they cause. Just don't come near me, man. Was Black Flag accurate in the rough life of being a pirate? Yeah, I think the most accurate representation of how rough it was being a pirate in, in fiction is probably Black Sails. It, like, seriously, watch Black Sails. It shows, like, the gritty, awful aspect. And it shows how, like, pirate society was slowly crumbling as the civilized world was closing in on them throughout the years and it's like the big name pirates were being hanged and arrested and yeah black sails does a really good job and although black sails is a fictional story because it, it, it mixes history with the fictional treasure island story like captain flint wasn't a real person long john silver wasn't a real person they're fiction but it mixes history with with uh, the story of treasure island it acts as like a prequel to treasure island <laughs> But um, I think that shows that's the best fictional media we've had that shows like that doesn't glamorize pirate life, basically. Because even this game sort of glamorizes it at times, you know, but that Black Sails doesn't glamorize it at all. They show like, yeah, this was a rough life and you were probably going to die of disease out in sea or a cannonball or a sword or a gun or being hanged by the neck. <laughs> like that's it's a good show. It's a really good show. Long John Silver was real ever. Yeah, he founded the restaurant. He founded the fast food chain. After being a pirate, he came to America and founded Long John Silver's to make cheap fast food that's uh, cheap seafood. Are Long John Silver's even around anymore? I don't think I have any in my area. I haven't seen a Long John Silver's in a while. You, you know what? I think we have one connected to a Taco Bell somewhere. As soon as your like in the same building. For until such time. All of you will be confined in the cell. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, madam. I went to Nassau Take and I got a bunch of rum cake home. there. Accept the so king's good. protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace. Commodore Chamberlain, we are messengers, not executioners. Oh, thank you, sir. 
God save you. Give me honest, Treasure Island's a pretty good book. John Silver's a great villain. Is John Silver, uh, Log John Silver, a villain in that? I'll be hanged before I surrender to that bobbin. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed yep. it away. I won't make that In mistake. two years, we pissed it away. That's what happened. Yeah, Long John Silver and Black Sails, he's more of a... Not a villain, he's more of just like, kind of just out for himself. You'll all be dead men! Bastards! I need a drink. See, that's what happened. They're already fracturing. See, Charles Vane and Calico Jack, they're like, fuck these guys, hell no, we're not signing that. And then Benjamin Hornigold's like, well, we were gonna have a government, we pissed everything away in two years, uh... I'm taking the deal. Yeah, we have a Long John Silver KFC combo. Yeah, ours is... I think it's Long John Silver and, and Taco Bell. But my... My only thing is, I don't... I don't know if the Long John Silver portion is still... The restaurant I'm thinking of, I think they might have gotten rid of the Long John Silver part. And I think it's just a Taco Bell now. I could be wrong about that. I haven't been to that area in a little bit. You think they'll ever make a modern day AC something on GTA? I don't think so. I, I think Assassin's Creed is at its best when it's like historical. Although I would like the, the random like one off where it is the modern day. But I, I don't know. I, I don't think they're gonna do it. They seem to really like recreating like the past. You know, cities and doing all that. I, I kinda feel like from a video game developer point of view, I kinda feel like it'd be kinda boring for them to do the modern day. You know, I, I don't know. It'd be cool if we did, though. I, I would welcome it. The gunpowder plot. Look at him. Turn cult. Makes me bloody ill to think on how many times I've put up with horn and gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Hornigold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of? NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? Yeah, Charles Vane is one of the most bloodthirsty pirates in history, too. He would torture people. Ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You're incapable, Captain. This is kind of interesting right here because this actually happened is clear. historically right. when Woods Rogers came to Nassau with this pardon. Charles Vane actually launched a fire ship at it. It's interesting in this game that they mix Edward Kenway into the mix like it was his plan. But this actually did happen. Sent a fire ship into the blockade and it, yeah, like, it, like Woods, it made Charles Vane like target number one. Like They wanted him hanged. <clears throat> it's all those yum brand combos, pizza, Taco Bell, KFC, A and W. Yeah, we had we had a KFC and A and W, but the A and W didn't last long. It, it got cut out and uh, KFC. I guess the A and W side didn't really get a lot of business. I never even ordered from there. You know what's actually coming back pretty soon in, in Central Florida is Fazoli's. Anyone ever ate at Fazoli's? I didn't even know Fazoli still existed. I remember a Fazoli's that was like 15 minutes away from me when I was a kid. And I remember it shut down ages ago. I had no idea Fazoli's was still like an active like fast food Italian restaurant. But it's coming back in my area. Alright. Let's go ahead. Damn, nope. Oh man, I'm really low here. Fuck. Well, I'm not going to be able to use stealth. Not very much. Maybe I can. Hold on. Let's see. Okay, so far so good. Maybe I can. Let me loot them. Maybe trying to make Edward a real historical figure. Hold on. How do we know he wasn't? How do you know? Maybe Ubisoft had... Maybe Ubisoft has a real animus, and that's how they know this. Maybe this is real, all right? 
they found this through their own animus. Of Circo Entertainment. There you go. Maybe this truly is the real history. This is the video game that they're trying to make in the game. It's been made in real life. My mall food court used to have a fizzles? A fizzles? What the hell is fizzles? Is that like another word for fizzolis? I've never heard fizzles. We have fizzolis in a town over. It's terrible. I don't remember what fizzolis was like. I, it, I'm telling you, since I was a child, we haven't had one. And I don't remember what it tasted like. I remember I had like a spaghetti or something there. Yeah, but I looked it up online. They have like a new logo and everything. I was like, what the hell? And then I, I, look, I googled locations. I was like, my god, there's fazolis around. I had no idea. Uh, there's probably just not very many locations. Alright. That's one gunpowder keg. Three more. Man, Edward literally, like, with the game mechanics, he can literally clear all these British off the island. Every single one of them. I'll just keep counterattacking every single one. Look, look, look at all of them on the map. I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill them all. Let's see. Let's see if he can do it. Today, history changes. We will have our pirate republic. Maybe not. I need to upgrade my guns. I need more of them. I need more human shields. Oh, he slapped me. You're my human shield. There you go. Thank you. See, look. I got rid of all the British. We don't need a pardon. We just need to fight back. That's it. See? They're all done. I'll buy Edward if you buy his grandson. Hey, how, how do we know that a Native American warrior slash secret assassin did not travel around with... Paul Revere yelling in people's houses obnoxiously in the middle of the night while they're trying to sleep. <laughs> Who's to say? Could DeSantis be the American psycho? It would shock now, would it? Yeah. Um, he doesn't have the charisma to be the American psycho. <laughs> DeSantis, his personality is kind of like what happens when you get a combination of someone trying to imitate Trump but at the same time, somehow being similar to a piece of toast that's not buttered. Just like a boring wet blanket. <laughs> that, that's, that's the only way I can describe it. I don't know how else to describe it. The redcoats are bleeding. They are bleeding. Look, I'm going to stay up here. Look, this is my watchtower now. Look at that. Look at that. Get out of my tower. <laughs> Take this pardon. Oh, shit. I'll give you a pardon to sign. Apologize for coming to my island. These are my Bahamas. My future resorts. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's kicking me. You. There's one guy chilling up here. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. I'm going to shoot him right in the ass when he's coming down. Come down! <laughs> what a dumbass. There you go. See? Got him. Who needs the British? No offense to my British friends. <laughs> my British viewers in chat. Power Revere's overrated, and why, why was there so many Templars? Well, you gotta remember, the Templars, for centuries, have been burying themselves within the most powerful organizations through human history. So they're quite literally like a virus that spreads within, and their power is, their power is at its greatest when they're not known. So most people don't know about them, and their, their influence just spreads and spreads.
Yeah, how many more do I need? Two more? Are there even any British left on the island? I've killed so many. I've got I've got red hands from these from these red coats. Blood everywhere. Oh, they're down here. Silly red coats. You've come to the wrong place. You should stay in England. Okay, here's the other one. One more. And then we can send Charles Vane's fire ship. Actually, I think it's, it's Caligo Jacks. One more. Stupid red coats. Oops. <laughs> it's so satisfying. I want to just clear them all out to where the map has no red, uh, no little red spots anywhere. That would change the story. Oh shit. Animus database. Oh, the Queen's staircase. I went here. I saw this. The Queen's staircase. That's a real location right here. What if it looks? It looks just like that too. It's literally just a big ass staircase you can walk. I don't know why they call it the Queen's staircase though. But this right here is an actual. Uh, it's an actual landmark you can visit in NASA. You just walk up there and take pictures yeah. and shit. Come on, man. Hey! Can't combat. You know, why don't... We should have a pirate character in Mortal Kombat 1. Why don't we have a pirate character? Hold on, have we had a pirate character in Mortal Kombat? Let me think. We haven't, right? Because in Soul Calibur, we have Cervantes. What about... Cervantes. I don't know. We haven't had any pirate, have we? Mortal Kombat. We need a pirate character. A pirate combatant. You'd have some cool fatalities. Having the first root beer I've had in years now. I love root beer. Especially just like a good root beer float with like a, some ice cream in it. That shit is so good. Especially like in hard root beer. Girlfriend's surprised. I side with the Templars. She's an assassin, then. Better watch out. <laughs> you drinking your coffee in the morning suddenly poisoned! Templars. So you're anti- You're anti-freedom, huh? Subjugating humanity. Let people run around with their blades. So Cabo's the only pirate in a fighting game? There's gotta be more pirates. Tekken... Tekken's got no pirate either. Why don't we have pirate fighters? Oh, one guy left on the entire island? You? Yeah, there you go. Shouldn't have come at me, bro. Shouldn't have done it. Chose wrong. Relax, I'm not gonna kill you. Far away is this? I'm right there. Name the MK Pirate Keel Hall. What is Keel? Is that based on anything? Commodore 86. Commodore. Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's about the governor's wishes, sir. What a dick. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Is that clear? Aye, sir. They just want to strand them on the island. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the king's men. <laughs> Oh. We can't risk our good fortune. Oh, no, 
I've been waiting for you. Wouldn't be surprised if Kano's been involved in some piracy in his list of criminal ventures. Oh, for sure he's been involved in the act of piracy. Definitely. He's probably been involved in every criminal activity imaginable. Tale of the Guards. Again. Alright. Quick Google search of pirates in fighting games revealed. Interesting. Who else besides Cervantes? May from Guilty Gear. I don't know who that is. Maxi, Maxi? I never really saw Maxi as a pirate. I guess he is. I never really saw him as a pirate, though. I guess he did start out as one. Ruby Hart. Oh, yeah, Marvelous Capcom 2. She was an original character for that. Freed from Battle Fantasia. Don't know what that is. Oh, there you go. Some pirates. Damn it. I need darts. I guess I never really considered Maxi a pirate because he doesn't wear like typical pirate gear. I always hated playing as Maxi because I always lose control of him. He just goes crazy with the nunchucks and he's hard to control. I was called a Maxi pad <laughs> growing up. I get it. Immature, I know. Thought it was funny when I was a teenager. Who was sniping? Fuck over there. Wait, no, 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 no. There you go. Alright, I'm safe right now. Check that on the Dark's Prologue demo last night. It was really short and basic. Yeah, that's for the new one, right? The, uh... Is it a reboot? Or, or like, a, a sequel? I know it's supposed to be, like, a new version of it. Oh, fuck. I hate these non-stop tailing missions. Stop it. It's enough. <laughs> you call it Maxi Pad too? <laughs> I thought I was being original. Made a pirate character in Soul Calibur 4 who didn't wear pants named Captain Steel Bun. Most of the attacks involved using his ass. There you go. Yeah. He <laughs> licensed that character out to them. So they can make him an official character. Captain Steel Bun. Uh, let's go. Damn it. Almost lost him. God, man, I only have one dart. No! Oh, shit. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. If I can get away, I can still do this. I just need to keep them in sight, damn it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no! Come on! This is so stupid, man. So stupid. It's a total remake slash reboot of the first game. Oh. I didn't keep track of how the series all ties together. I was Keelik main. I didn't really like Keelik either. I have a buddy that, that he's insanely good with Keelik. Edge Master. Don't, Keelik, didn't they just call him Edge Master in the new game? What, in, in 6? He's a new Edge Master, isn't he? I always like picking Nightmare, and you know who else I really liked? I always forget her name, the Harley Quinn chick. 
I always called her Harley Quinn. I always forget her name. They introduced her in like uh, two, I think. I always liked picking her. I got really good with her. And then Nightmare. Too many long tailing missions. Yeah, tell me about it. It just keeps going. Kilik Sumina Sumina. Ivy, I was never good with. I, I was never good with her because, like, I always had trouble, like, changing her sword into a whip in the middle of combat and then changing it back. I remember you had to do some crazy shit with the D pad or something. I don't know. Lee, welcome back. Tira, Tira. That's her name. Yeah, I liked her. Best SC main for me, Taki and Raphael. Taki's really fast. Alright, I've had enough. Just get me to where I need to go, man. Oh, fuck. That was it. <laughs> My last sleep dart. Got to manage now. Fuck, running out of time. There. How many games left do you have before Origins? Quite a bit, actually. Let's see. Let 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 let's let's work it out. Um, because Origins, I'm I'm kind of going chronologically by like the modern day story, because that's the only way the series makes sense. You can't go chronologically by the past timeline. It, it doesn't work that way. Uh, there's this, then Freedom Cry, then Rogue. After Rogue, and someone let me know if I missed one. After Rogue, it would be Unity. Then... Wait. S sit, no. After... I'm losing track. Rogue, Unity... After Unity would be India, and after India it'd be Syndicate. After Syndicate it'd be Russia, Chronicles Russia. After that it'd be Origins, then Odyssey, then Valhalla. I, I don't think. Look, did I miss something? I don't think I missed any. So let me say that again. Black Flag, Freedom Cry. Rogue. Unity. India, Syndicate, Russia. Origins. I think that's right. I don't think I missed any. All right, I gotta air assassinate. Stand still. Here we go. Did I really have to follow them all the way here? Couldn't I just like swim out to the ship and be done with it? I want that ship. Aveline DLC, yeah. That's just part of this game, though. Uh, what about Mirage? Well, Mirage is out till October. I have plenty of time to look. I might actually stream Mirage. Uh, I might make it a big event and just stream it every day till I beat it for that week or something. We'll see. But uh, I'm not going to be here. Damn it. I just remembered again. I'm not going to be here. Fuck. By the time I get back and start, like people have already played it, watched videos about it. And I'm so mad. <laughs> oh man the movie which is can yeah the movie's absolutely canon unfortunately the movie doesn't have any any game 
All right. Best way to assassinate him. Let's climb up here. The only thing I'm worried about is this guy's gonna see me. Fuck. All right, I gotta, I gotta make it up there when this guy's not looking. I really like Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia. I thought that was a very good game. For a little side game, that game was awesome. India's the one I thought was a little boring. I didn't care for. Oh, here we go. I'll be in. I'll be in a good position to air, air strike him. Oh, come on. The thing I'm worried about, like, I don't want to, like, try to air assassinate him and then it targets someone else. Because he's traveling with people. Alright, let me wait for him to make his little rounds. Fight some sleep darts, I, I would take out some of his guys. Oh! <gasps> I didn't mean to do that. Oh no. Oh no. I hope I can make this drop. Let me drop. Oh shit, I did it. Okay, now when he comes back around, I'll, I'll get him. I could just go in there and start swinging, but they want me to air assassinate him, so I will do so. Origin's so good, it's amazing. It's still on Aztec Assassin's Creed? Yeah. It would have to be, if they do Aztec Assassin's Creed, it would probably be another one of those Isu-based games for civilization storylines, because the Brotherhood wouldn't have been in the Aztecs yet. The Brotherhood didn't spread all the way over there yet. They came over with the New World and all that. I mean, they could work it in there, though. Do some hidden one shit. Why plan a kill and you could just use a Berserk Dart? I don't have one. No. They saw me. They saw me. I was worried they'd look up, too. Oh, look, look, look! Son of a bitch! <laughs> the given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? A syphilis looked at me. your mind. Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant. You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? If not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Now I gotta kill everyone on this ship. Anyone remember a Disney movie? Oh, Treasure Planet. Yeah, they only had... Did they not have a... Alright, did they not have a short-lived animated series? For some reason, I remember one. But I, I, I might be making that up. But I remember that movie. Like, the animation looked really cool. And, like, that movie made no impact whatsoever. Like, it wasn't one of the, the ones that, like, Disney classics now. Same thing goes for that... Remember Journey... Was it called Journey to Atlantis? There was an Atlantis one that was really good too, and no one gave a shit about it. I think it was called Journey to Atlantis, wasn't it? <clears throat> ah man, I don't know. You know what? I don't know if I ever saw those movies. I I want to say I have, but I really I don't remember anything about the storyline or anything. I can't fast travel. Up, oh, gotta do some more killing. Too many people alive on this boat. What are you doing? You don't come here destroying my society by offering pardons. All pirates that took pardons are traitors now. They must die. You're not going to get hit by the neck, but you will be destroyed. I remember the Disney Atlantis movie was good, but I think at the time it didn't make much money. Atlantis? Is that what it's called? Atlantis Lost Empire? No, it didn't make a lot at all. Neither did Treasure Planet. 
That's why those movies, like, they never... They're not, like, widely remembered. It sucks, too, because I remember they were, like, very unique, too. Taking the phrase, I killed a fast travel, literally, absolutely. I need that fast travel. Even if it costs the, uh... The end of the blade in someone's back. Actually making some decent story progress today. I was just gonna focus on legendary ships, but and affords, but after I got my ass kicked by that one legendary ship, it scared me away from the rest. For now. But I'll be back. Save pirates. See, no, you don't come over here and start making trouble. Oh, you know what? There's a lot of them. Sorry, pirates. I'll, I'll get more crew members elsewhere. <laughs> ah! Peace out. And since we're talking about Long John Silver earlier, Treasure Planet was another underrated one. Yeah, I never watched it. Man, there were there, for a while Disney had some movies that like some new IPs that they did that just did not take off. Anyone remember the, one of the last animated movies they made was that like. What, something on the ranch or moo on the ranch or some shit the one with the cows and what was that called something on the ranch home on the ranch like nobody cared about that movie nobody watched it and then in live action they had that uh john carter of mars movie which i actually thought looked really good but like yeah nobody cared about that movie nobody watched it oddly enough i really really liked their uh disney's prince of persia it just felt like Pirates of the Caribbean mixed with Prince of Persia. I like that a lot. This is a Jerry Bruckheimer movie. It felt like Pirates. And I didn't even think Jake Gyllenhaal was, was bad as the Prince. I thought he did alright. I like that the storyline kind of mixed all three games together. Oh, come on, man. They really don't want to let me go. Any pulls up? No, I just had some recently, actually. Right now, I don't have one up currently, but I will be having some up soon because we're reaching some more uh, channel member votes here pretty soon because we're almost done going through the games. One of the channel member votes was Mario Land 1 and 2, and that's coming up. That's right around the corner. And after I do a couple more of these Friday games, I'm going to open up uh, another, another um, thing for members here. After a couple more Friday games are done, Probably after I get through Kakarot, uh, the, the way the math breaks out. I'll probably start this after Kakarot, but one of the Friday games, I'm going to start opening up polls for that, too. Because you guys vote for one of the Monday games, so it's only fair that I have you guys vote for a Friday game, too. So we'll, we'll, we'll do a couple selections for Friday games and have you guys vote on that also, instead of me picking the Friday game every time. That way members pick a Friday and a Monday game, and then you have more stuff to vote on. Figure that'll make the memberships a little more worthwhile. I always have fun doing those polls because I'll pick a couple games and I try to mix it up really well. I try to, like, I'm not going to do, like, God of War 1, 2, 3, or 4. You know, it's going to be like, God of War, Mario, Zelda, or uh, Assassin's Creed. I, I'll try to mix it into, like, completely unrelated games. And it's always interesting to me because in my mind, I'm always like, oh, this game's definitely going to win. And then it'll end up at, like, the bottom and I'll be completely surprised. Like, I didn't, like, this last poll, it was Mario Land 1 and 2 on the Game Boy. I didn't think that was going to win at all. I thought that was going to be on the bottom. But it ended up winning. And I was like, okay then. <laughs> it's always a surprise for me. Mario Land 1 should take about 8 or 9 minutes. That's exactly why I'm streaming Mario Land 2 with it. Because I know how short Mario Land 1 is. But Mario Land 2 is, is a bit dead. lengthier. We ready? We're close. So we'll knock we'll them both out. The galley and there's a couple of dozen. Bloody hell. You'd raise a cloud here, lout. You shot on enough gunpowder to blow New Providence off his What rocks. a dumbass. Stay off me, mate. I'm, I'm well chafed. As I was telling, a squad of lobsters has commandeered our galleon. We're going to have to clear it out before we use them cannons to play the brocade. <laughs> People still play this game? Yes. <laughs> Here we are. I will always play this game. I'm actually about to start a third file on this game just to record my own gameplay for uh, my Assassin's Creed story series eventually. This is my favorite Assassin's Creed game. It's a beautiful game. 
escort or use the mortar. Oh, damn it. Did I ever restock? I never resupplied. Oh, crap. I never resupplied my mortar. Well, can't use that. I completely forgot to resupply. Now I'm, I'm going to be running on fumes now. I'm just going to survive. Here we go. Ever thought of streaming any Simpsons game? Yes, a bunch of them. Uh, I actually had the Simpsons PS3 game as a channel member vote, and it almost won. And then I forgot something else beat it, but I fully plan to do that game. I never finished the PS3 one, but I love the Simpsons. I always have. And uh, they had a lot of cool games that I liked playing growing up. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll absolutely, I'll have Simpsons games sooner or later. I love this music. All right. I wish I could transfer my maxed out jacked off from my other file. That'd be nice. Instead of struggling with my non-upgraded one. Pizza run, nice. Shit, send me a pizza. <laughs> Who am I defending it again? <coughs> Simpsons game. I only played the PS2 one. I forgot it's the same game. PS2 one. I don't know if it is the same game, is it? Because I know PS2 had its own Simpsons game, like Road Rage and all that. I don't think it was the same one as the PS3 and 360 one. I could be wrong about that. Ozzy would... Ozzy, are you here? Ozzy's like... Aussie Simpsons, Simpsons expert. <laughs> Damn it, they're getting away. Eat my fire barrel! Ah, I shot the wrong one. Why would these tiny little gunboats come after me, man? You're so little. Like, you're forcing me to destroy you. Look at this little, look at this little one. <laughs> Goodbye. Shit, I gotta get back to the ship. Oh no. They're in trouble. Damn it, I shouldn't have left them alone. Oh good, good, they're coming at me. Yay! Rogue had legendary ships and a few straight up Super Saiyan ships. I need a Super Saiyan ship. Yeah, no, Rogue had a lot of really hard ones. Shit, I mean this one did too. I just need my upgraded jackdaw. And then they'll be destroyed for good. Another white whale location. I'm the youngest kid to ever play. You're the youngest kid to finish this game. How old are you out of curiosity, Tucker? What do you mean you're the youngest ever been in, like, in history? Or that you know of? Because historically, how would you know? You're 13? Oh, so, okay, so when this came out... What year did this come out? There she blows! So you have to be like three years old, like two or three. Oh, well, shit. Well, congratulations. Oh, I want that white whale. Damn it. I can't stop and hunt right now, though. I gotta go. Oh, they're coming after me. There we go. A mighty mess there. This game came out in 2013. You know how I always remember it. it, it kind of a funny story. My fiance knows this already, though. She thinks it's hilarious. For some reason, I remember, like, life events based on what Assassin's Creed came out that year. Because they used to come out, like, yearly almost. I, and I I remember, like, life events. So, one day me and her were talking, and, and we were talking about when we started dating. So, we were, like, thinking back, like, what, what year did we start dating? And I remember I told her, like, I know when we started dating because Assassin's Creed Black Flag came out that year. Because <laughs> I remember when when Assassin's Creed 3 came out, I, I was in a different relationship. I didn't know her yet. 
So that that was the year before. That year, when me and her started dating, I remember telling her how excited I was that they finally were getting a pirate game. So I know that's the year we started dating because I remember because that's when Black Flag came out. <laughs> I, I swear, I remember life events based on what Assassin's Creed I was playing at the time. <laughs> and it's always it's like imprinted in me. October 1718, Britinagua. So he's got dirty feet on me. Oh, I kid. You missed quite a time. Aye. Pity about Nassau and Blackbeard flying the coop. Well, we'll see about Thatch. Syndicate's a hidden gem. Yeah, and Syndicate's another one I remember very well because when I first moved out out of my parents' house and moved in with my fiance, girlfriend at the time. That's the Assassin's Creed that had just come out. Do you have a Discord? Yeah, I have a Discord. Um, there's a link. If you go to my description or any of my videos, if you go to the pin comment, there's a link to my Discord. You can go in there. What's got into you, man? Reality, mate. Reality. See that you ain't pulled into the drink by this drowning rat. Oi. I've lived longer than most men who trod this path. The golden age is done. I'm joining. Yeah, we have a lot of fun conversation over there. Yeah, anyone that's new to the channel, I have a Discord. That, uh... We chatting and such. You know what? Nassau might be a bust, but at least I got this nice little house right here. You know? At least. Here, I got a couple of these keys. So is the Discord when the pirates are fighting then? Is a Discord? That would be a Discord, technically. Isn't a Discord like Isn't that another word for like uh like when there's like a, a conflict? That's a Discord, right? Or did I make that up? I don't know. Maybe I made that up. Here. My god, look at this. Look how much money I have. I have not upgraded any of this. Let's make a nice home. Like I said, Nassau's all messed up now. They ruined it, so we gotta make a nice house. It's still missing a little something. See, look, we got a little garden going. Look at that. Great Inagua's getting even greater. Alright, now we're gonna build a guest house for visitors. Discord Cinema of Chaos. Okay, there you go. You know, you could just rip the cage off the wall. Yeah. I mean, I, I don't know if Edward has that kind of strength, though. <laughs> with the with the tools they had back then. See, why is that such a special suit? Like, I don't even like that suit that much. It doesn't even look that nice, to be honest. I like the Mayan one better. It's like some cool, like, Isu armor. All right, let's go cause some chaos in the Caribbean. Let's get some forts out of the way. Now that everything's all messed up. No one likes me anymore. They're all upset about how much of a drunken mess I am. You know what? We had a nice thing going in NASA, all right? Then Woods Rogers had to come and ruin it all. And you notice they said Blackbeard for the coop. Like, Blackbeard at this point is when he... Semi-retired. How much did they charge me for a campfire? <laughs> this is going to be the new NASA right here, all right? Look, hiring drunken pirate groups is now free. Hooray. <laughs> Excellent. A good captain. He takes care of his men. Yeah? I have not revisited this cove since like I started playing this. Satisfied that there are no women of comfort here. I know just where to find them. Remember the city of Final Fantasy? Chaos is the god of Discord? Why did they call Discord that then? Like, that's kind of a negative connotation, isn't it? Like, oh, this whole place is a mess. Thank you. Thank you. We got dancer groups with red lights. I'm sure they're dancers. New customization items are available in multiplayer mode that nobody plays anymore. Thank you. Yeah, my hideout's fully upgraded. Look at that. We got a nice little bustling community here. And now I have no money to upgrade my boat. Actually, I don't even think I have supplies to upgrade my boat. Let's see. I need to get those cannons stronger. 
subbed and joined Discord. I appreciate that. So, so you know, I stream uh, Monday. Next week's a little different because we got Street Fighter coming out, and I got some other stuff to do. But uh, Mondays and Fridays is the normal schedule for streaming. Monday, Friday, 7 p.m. Eastern. Where's all the rum gone? All right, let's see. Let's go buy. Uh, <laughs> nope. Can't afford that. Can't afford that. I need more metal. I, I really need to go out in the Caribbean and start blowing some people away with my cannons so I can steal stuff. No wonder I got my ass kicked <laughs> with the freaking... With the, with the damn legendary ships, man. I'm taking back the Caribbean. Here, let's go. Let's take it back. Can I craft anything? Oh, I didn't re... I didn't reload. You guys didn't remind me. You know, let's find a humpback whale so I can get my health upgraded. I haven't upgraded anything, man. What do you be needing today? My Discord is drama. We we don't do drama on this channel or my Discord. Anyone does drama, they peace be with you. We 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 like to be normal people. That can discuss things civilly. And if not, this is probably not the right community. <laughs> people that don't like to discuss stuff civilly and just like fighting, like I don't know, go to quartering or one of these other channels. It's not this channel. Um, Alright. I got my ammo refilled. Where should I dispense my... Oh. Should I? Let's see what this legendary shit... I am absolutely not ready for this fight. But you know what? <laughs> let's, uh... Let, let, let's go with this legendary ship here down in the southeastern corner. This is going to suck. I like how the game low-key makes it clear Edward was not faithful to his woman while a pirate. He absolutely was not. <laughs> it's, there were definitely ladies of the morning, afternoon, and evening walking all around there. And I'm sure they were very inexpensive. Here we go. Let, let, let's see. Let's get some epic uh, sea shanties going. I like that one. This is going to suck. There's hope, though. I think this is one of my favorite sea shanties of all time. I'm coming for you, legendary ship. I'm going to kill it. In one shot. You'll see. Shit, there's a bunch over there. It's so relaxing. Man, it's getting closer. I hope this is not like a level 75 one like the last one was. You guys don't understand. If you didn't see the beginning of the stream, that first one I fought, it was going at me like on hyper speed. I love how all these men are just jolly. They're singing in like the most jolly fashion, not realizing that they're about to go into a... A, an enormous ship battle with a crazy hard boat. If I don't kill this one, I definitely gotta 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 upgrade. I should not be trying to take them out this early. I'm telling. You, I wish I could transfer my jacktaw from my other file. That that one's maxed out and 100 percented. This one, this one's still a baby. Actually, if I had to age this jackdaw, it's probably like in its teen years. It's still growing. It's an adolescent. Who goes there? If it kills me, I'm gonna do another fort. Hey, what's that in the fog? 
It looks like a ship. Yep, that's a ship. It looks like a ghost. Woo! <laughs> Risen from the dead to sink us. This is a real bad idea. This is a real bad idea. The secret glitch to best the ram now. We're not gonna use glitches. We'll do a legit. This is not a retro game. We don't need glitches. Although I'm gonna I'm gonna get absolutely hammered right now. There we go. Oh man. Alright, believe. Believe. So. My mortar fire absolutely tickled. It tickled. Alright, let's see what kind of damage we do with cannons. How pitiful. They're laughing at me. Yeah, I don't think this is going well. <laughs> nope. This is not going well at all. I wish I could just board the ship right now and just fight. Like, why can't I, you know? I'm doing some damage. You know what the problem is? I'm not going to be able to take much damage. That's my issue. Because the second they, they, they launch a volley at me, it's over. We almost got him at half. We almost have met half. Oh no. Oh. He's gonna, he's gonna try to ram me. Nope. <laughs> there was no chance of victory. <laughs> no. Zero. Zero chance. Why are you doing this? I was trying to be a brave pirate, okay? <laughs> Alright, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this way. Looks like a ghost. And. We're going to do this. <laughs> With our tail between our legs. I'm out. Screw that. I'll be back. Don't worry. I'll be back with a vengeance. <laughs> the HMS Shao Kahn. Oh my god. I'll be back with a vengeance once I'm upgraded. Don't you worry. Vengeance. Oh, let's go here. Oh no, that's an assassin contract. I don't want the contract. Where's that fort that I wanted? You know what? Let's go after his level 3 fort. Oh, humpback whale. I need one more humpback whale for the health upgrade. And I can't fast travel because I'm still running away. Yeah, I, I gotta I gotta take care of my crew, okay? I, I cannot put them in danger. I must leave. I'm a good I'm a good captain, see? I, I care about my, my pirate associates. Just anchor a safe point away and swim to it. See, we need, like, some time travel. And have, like, twisted metal, like, turrets on the ship. And that, that's... I just light them up. What I need is to transfer my Greek fire from my ship in Odyssey. And then just ram into them and just set them aflame. You know how, you know how useful that would have been in the Caribbean? Right now? It would have been insanely useful. Can I fast travel now? Fine. We're almost to the humpback whale. I try to swim to them and they shoot cannons at you while you swim. Yeah, that that's uh They're gonna kill you. Although if I could get on board that ship, I'd kill everyone on there. But the game won't let me. So Oh, we need sea shanties. Why it's so quiet? Here. I wanna get this whale and I'm gonna take out the fort. Which one's this? No, I don't want that one. I mean, I can't wait to stream uh, Skull and Bones. If that ever comes out. <coughs> that game was supposed to be out already, right? Was it like May? That game's been delayed, delayed so many times. Way too many times. Like, I'm ready to play that game, man. But next year now. But it, you know what? At the same time, it's not that huge a deal because there's so many games that come out this year. Hopefully, Peta isn't watching. Well, is Peta going to give me my health upgrade? 
because I don't know any other way. I need this humpback whale. I'm sorry, Shamu. Shamu's cousin. Leave her, Johnny, leave her. What do you have? Some wood. You know what? I need some wood. Oh, don't sink it. Don't sink it. I was worried I was going to hit it too hard. A little bit of wood doesn't hurt. I'll never get tired of boarding ships. Well, actually, this one I might not need to board. Let's see, two more. Oh, come on! I thought you were gonna completely miss it? That would have sucked. There we go. Didn't even have to board it. They gave up. Pure fear. And you lads will, I guess, lower my wanted level. I just want the wood. My girlfriend surprised me Ready being excited for Metal Gear Solid 3 Remake. I want to put a ring on her. <laughs> She's a Metal Gear fan? I wish my fiance was a gamer sometimes. <laughs> She's not at all. My, my, uh, she does like some games. Like she, you know what games she loves for some reason? I don't even know why. Because she's not like in the beat em ups, but she really likes Castle Crashers. Castle Crashers is so much fun. I love Castle Crashers. I have the original like 360 one and then like the remaster they did, which really doesn't look that much different. But I love that game. Why'd you let them go? I just need the wood. And now I just need the whale. I'm sorry, whale. But SeaWorld is not coming to rescue you today. Today, you will be my health upgrade. Time to go fishing. Let's get started. That's it, lads! Steady! Steady now, lads! Ah, yes! Mine! Yes! Resident Evil 4. Got it! Get him before he snaps that tail! Nice one! Oh, he almost did the whale attack. Tail attack. See that, lad? He's gone! Almost got him. Where is it? I like when they do this when they get up close. That's basically some free hits. Success. When your nice fishing game one. is inspired by Resident Evil, inspired or they directly copy it? Hit. This is almost Watch exactly it. Resident Evil 4. One more and we're done. Yes, he's done for. Health upgrade. Finally. I gotta work on Edward's upgrades. I need, I need, uh, a bunch of them. Alright, gentlemen, we have dinner for tonight. And also, look. Humpback whale. Crafting unavailable. Oh. I gotta let go of my wheel. I could do, um... Pistol. Oh, I thought it was a health upgrade. Oh, no. The jaguar pelt. I need the health upgrade. All right, well, let, let's get what I can. I do I have to be on land? I think I have to be on land to craft. It's not letting me. What did I want to do? The fort. That's what I want to do. I'll craft when I get once I get over there. It's a level three fort. I think I can take it. <clears throat> Could Edward beat Del Lago? 
I mean, Leon did with just some some, some uh, harpoons, so why not? They, they essentially have the same weapon. It's not like Leon was going around kung fu kicking it out of the water. You better not crash into me, man. I'm not trying to start trouble. That shit's bigger than mine. I'm so tempted to just fire at it. I used to do that. I love doing that. Sometimes I'll just fire at a big ship and then just run away. Just to annoy them. You want to fight the ghost ship again? Yeah, when I'm stronger, I will have my revenge. And it will be total destruction. I like this song. I still gotta stream Dr. Mario sometime. I haven't forgotten about that. I wonder, anyone play Mar Dr. Mario for N64? I wonder how different that is from like regular Dr. Mario. Dr. Mario is so much fun. Alright, we're getting close. Come on. I'm not going to... Oh, no. They're about to see me. They're going to come after me. No? Leave me alone. There's a plantation over there. I can go steal some cargo. For now, I'll focus on the fort. The forts are nice because they open up that fast travel in that area, too. I still love NES Dr. Mario played it several times a year. Yeah, that game is so nostalgic. It really is. Like, something so, like, simple and addictive and fun about it. What's going on over there? Whoa! Oh, I couldn't see anything. There was too much fog. No fort can stand against Edward Kenway. If my whole fleet was here, they'd be all fucked. Because I got an all Man of Wars. You think you can say no to me? Look at all that chaos raining down. Look at all that discord. <laughs> I'm sowing discord on that fort. That was a nice run. Got a bunch of defenses almost gone. I finally got to use the word Discord in a proper manner. I love using the mortar. I think it's, there's something so much fun about like being able to launch the mortars from far away and just watching it land. All right, let's do it again. Round two. Best ships you can get your fleet are actually the pirate hunters. I, I did it all Man of Wars. I love the Man of Wars. There's these giant fat ships with a ton of armor. And then I'll just repair them as they take damage. They're unstoppable. Let the King of England come down here with his army and take on my fleet. I wonder what Edward did with all his entire fleet. Like when he retired from piracy. Did he just like sell it off? <laughs> Donate it to the assassins? Because I have like 15 mana wars floating around somewhere. They're actually trading with uh, South Africa right now, I think. I right, almost owned that for it. One of the complaints of Valhalla is too empty? I don't agree with that at all. What the, uh, too empty? Yeah, but these are the same people that love Breath of the Wild, probably. Breath of the Wild's empty. But yeah, there's, I mean, 
No, I don't agree with it, because there's a lot of towns and a lot of cities. There, there's a lot to do on that map. No, I don't, I don't agree with that at all. Uh, empty is not, not the word I would use. I, they're probably just skipping stuff on the map, I guess. What is left? Oh, is that one? Oh, that's it. That's it for that one. Almost. I love the soundtrack. If I get that soundtrack on vinyl, I would. Yeah, welcome. How do you get your fleet to help? You don't. Well, they should. Like I said, I got a bunch of mana wars. Where are they at? Come on, man. I got that just that little wall. That's all that's left. Thank you. My god. And I do believe this is now my fort. Let's call it Fort Kenway. It's got to turn my fat ass ship around. Russo, let's move. <laughs> oh, yeah, if he hates Breath of the Wild. I do not. I never said that. It's funny words about it. I never said I hated it. It's just not one of my favorite Zeldas at all. Tears of the Kingdom is better. But yeah, some parts of the open world are still like pretty empty in Tears of the Kingdom, too. And Grant, thank you for the 499. Still streaming, huh? Mom love cocaine bear. Oh, you saw the whole movie already? Well, oh, that's not that long of a movie. That makes sense. Not sure why people can't appreciate movies for what they're meant to be. Yeah, cocaine bear is hilarious. Like, it's such a dumb, fun movie. Like, there's no. You turn your brain off to watch it. That's it. What's the point of the fleet? Well, to get money. You have the fleet, and then you do the missions for money. That's really all. Awesome. It's just another mini game. That's pretty much the entire point of it. Although, it would have been nice if it was like Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, like where you could call reinforcements in the fights. Like, it'd be cool if you could have like two or three ships with you that you could call for reinforcements on like big ship battles. That would have been a cool feature. Had this game been made today with today's like vast technology, I think they would have done something like that. Where is he going? Come, hey, oh, you don't want to play anymore because you're losing? Let's go. Let's go. Damn it. Freaking reloading. Come on, you and your other Ford officers are done for. No, there's a bomb right by my feet. Oh, shit. <laughs> right by my feet go 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 yeah all right uh, let me get the animus glitch over here this game does a really good job distracting me with collectibles Did miss something like the DND movie? Yeah, she actually. It was funny. She was so mad at me because um, she wanted to see it originally because she heard it was funny. She don't know anything about DND either, but she thought it looked like fun comedy. And we were gonna go watch it in the theater because she had free tickets. And I was like, no, screw that. I was like, it looks like crap. Let's go watch a uh, 65 instead. So we went and paid for 65, and it was it was not. 65 was so generic. And after we saw DND, she was like, I can't believe we saw 65 over that. And I was like, yeah. I was like, DND was actually way better of a movie than 65 was. 65 was just like a generic, less entertaining Turok. But the reboot version, not the classic N64 version. Not a bad movie, but like 10 years from now, if you ask me like, hey, do you remember that movie 65? I'm going to be like, what movie was that? <laughs> Don't even forget that movie existed. Alright, got a silver cross. Alright, I just need one more chest here. 
I clear this chest out. I just gotta kill these dumbass officers. Oh, ooh, two for one. Here we go. They're both here. Excellent. That'll save me a little time. Yeah, I just got your friend. What are you gonna do about it? Actually, I wanna shoot him. Wait, 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 let me reload. Ah, oh, fine, you're impatient. Then you die by the sword. All right. Chest. I don't like having to kill the captains, awkward. They had it coming. I'll destroy all the captains. This game's on three different consoles, 360, Xbox One, and Series X, yeah. I mean, it was originally, um... I forget sometimes that there was a PS3 360 version of this. That's right, this was one of the early next-gen ports for PS4 back in the day. I did plan to watch D&D movie, but I felt I would not like it. Yeah, I thought the same thing, but you don't need to know. I don't know anything about Dungeons & Dragons. You don't have to to watch the movie. It's just a fun adventure movie. It's really fun. Oh, excuse me. Did you just shoot me? There you go. And for that, you will pay. How dare you? You see this, guys? Look, you guys, you see this? I will give you a glimpse of my power. Well, he didn't fall that far, but just pretend he did. <laughs> you know what? You didn't see that. That's what you get. Don't ever sit there and watch one of your friends shoot at me and not do anything about it. Let's go. Ozzy, what's up, man? It's my nephew's graduation. Oh, cool. Congrats to him. Hope the stream's gone well. We have become the terror of the Caribbean, with the exception of the legendary ships. I will become their greatest fear. There you go. And then Rogue was only PS3 360. It was funny, too, when Rogue came out, because I remember thinking, like, oh, this is just some stupid side game that they made. Like, a diet Black Flag. But... It was shockingly good. Rogue was shockingly good. I really like that game. As horrible as the things are that you have to do in the story, like the game is damn good. There, there is no. Oh, look, another legendary. You know what? We'll do the legendaries next time, cause I plan. You know what? Let's knock out the fort. We got two forts left only. That's it. Yeah, I guess I'll, I'll, I'll knock those two out and be done with the forts. Very cool. Famous philosophy of avoiding war crime prosecution. No survivors means no crime. There you go. Well, now you understand my uh, my definition of stealth as well. Like, if, if they don't see you, you know, if you kill them all, they can't report you. So, there you go. No, that's, that's stealth. Ah, there we go. Pistol holster. Play that. Beautiful. All right, let's get back to the boat, take out that fort. We got two forts and we're done with the forts. That's a level two, so that's gonna be even weaker. I should resupply, but I think I'll be all right. I don't have any mortar. I really gotta upgrade the mortar. Save the forts, the forts will be destroyed. I'm going to level them to the ground. These are my waters. Alright? My waters. That's what they have to understand. They have no business building forts here. This is my land. It's not the fun. Do you want to finish? What do you mean? There's main missions, side missions, Templar hunts, ship battles, a million things to do. What? I'm not even trying to fight you. Go away. I'm not even trying to fight you. Bring your stupid alarm at me. Here. Eat my fire barrels. Alright. I gotta look in front of me so I don't crash. Oh, I, I just... I did not repair my ship. Oh no, I'm not at full health. You know what? Let's do it anyways. I think I can manage with this health. Am 
100% done. I'm 100% done on my other file from like years ago. Shit. Oh, I do have some order. I thought I used them all up. All right, I'll start. I'll, I'll start launching from far away. That way, I get a little bit of credit here. I really shouldn't go over here with less than full health, though. But I, I, I have no choice at this point. Oh man, I, I really should have healed. Well, too late now. We already started a fight. Screw the cannons. Ah. Oh, you want some. That little boat. That little boat wants some. Okay, you can have some too. Oh, you know what I could do? I could board them and heal. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna board them and repair my ship. That's what we're gonna do. New target. No! I accidentally blew him up. I'm too strong. <laughs> For now. All right, I'm just gonna have to survive. Damn it. I wanna board them, but those little gunboats are worthless. I can't do anything with them, they just die. I have grown too powerful, too merciless. After this, I gotta heal and resupply for the last fort. <laughs> Don't run like coward fight. No, I am. We're gonna annihilate this fort. This is my. I told you, this is my land. This is the territories of King Kenway, all right? They have crossed into my private waters. Oh, we look, we got cute little gunboats. Oh, come on. And that's all they have left. It's nothing. Just give me the win. Worthless. All right, I gotta get closer. Stupid little gunboat. not gonna stream the AC Pirate Mobile. Is that game still active? I remember there was a P Assassin's Creed Pirate Mobile game. I played it for a little bit, but then I got bored real quick. Mobile game, they just, I can't, they, they don't hold my attention. The only one that might hold my attention is gonna be Jade. I really wish I could board that. Fort infiltration commencing. I have no clue. Yeah, I don't even remember what the game was like, but I you know what I got really into was the, uh, you remember with Unity, there was a companion app? There was a companion app. I don't remember how it worked exactly, but there was a companion app with Assassin's Creed Unity that had like special chests that you could unlock and you could level up your assassins and stuff. Uh... I don't remember how it worked, but I used that quite a bit. But if I'm not mistaken, I think this game had a companion app also that had something to do with like the community chest or something. They don't really do that anymore, but they it was like when they were first like seeing the potential of like what mobile apps can do, like when you combine them with gaming. They had some cool features. But the problem is like you get bored real quick of it. It was just another thing to keep track of. Those chests. I think they're up there. Gotta get up there. I was shocked at a story. Yeah, 
Well, they've had a lot of little mobile... Like, remember, there was a, a Renaissance Italy a mobile game. I I don't remember if it was a mobile game or, like, a Facebook... I think it might have been a Facebook game back in the day. Where it was, like, Renaissance Italy during Ezio's time, but your other members of the Brotherhood running around doing stuff. Well, I don't know, but anyone know what it was called? Like, Satsuki Renaissance or something? It, it, I think it was a Facebook game. I never played it. I just know about it. Okay. I'm gonna open this. Go away. I need that other chest. They mark it on the map so I can see where it is. It's up there. <coughs> Never mind. Ah! I'm on fire! Oh, come on. That's not who I was aiming at. I was aiming for the captain. The officer. Ossifer. Just notice you have a face cam? You didn't notice the face cam there the whole time? It's been there the whole time. Or am I an AI? Like Skynet. You will never know. I could be a digital person. A VTuber, if you will. <laughs> I love the MGS5 companion app. I vaguely remember, what can you do with it? I vaguely remember having that on my, uh, I had an HTC Evo and I remember having that. No, no, I'm thinking of Metal Gear 4. I'm thinking of Metal Gear Solid 4, the mobile version. I had the mobile MGS4 game. Dick. Oh, you want some. Well, I have some. Come get it. There you go. The war room. Alright, let's get that little, uh, fragment. I think these are for, like, the cheats. I don't even use them. But I like, I like collecting everything, so it is what it is. All right. For infiltrating these waters and trespassing on King Kenway's property, I now sentence you to death via execution by firing squad. There. My kingdom. Probably not that far off, Skynet, to be honest. Not to be a conspiracy theorist. Yeah, who knows? Unfortunately, we don't have a John Connor. Ha ha ha. One last for it, and I rule the Caribbean. Then I just have to rule these lands in the Caribbean. And then vengeance will fall upon these legendary ships. All right. Bushido Blade Warrior. Thank you for flexing those 16 long months of membership. Appreciate it. Can I fast travel? Oh, look, look, look. This is closer. They're way too close to these ass headquarters. I gotta take them out. You could tag enemies in the game and they'd pop up on the map in the app. A order supply drops, listen to audio log. That's kind of cool. No, I don't think I had that one. Because when Phantom Pain first came out, I downloaded it. I didn't play it for a long time. The long time. I actually never finished the campaign because it was the kind of game where I started it, got like halfway through, I would stop playing it for months and I'd go back and then forget where I was in the story and restart the whole thing. So I just, I've restarted that game several times. Right now in the game, I'm further than I've ever been though. So it, way after you recruit quiet and all that. It, it honestly, like, I have mixed feelings on Metal Gear Solid 5 because I like the game. I like the gameplay, but, like, it just, it gets boring. It, it, it really does, I think. I think it gets boring because there's a lot of little side missions you can do, but it just, it all feels the same. It all feels like I just keep traveling back to the same areas over and over until there's a new area. Oh, great. I didn't heal. Oh, you know what? 
We're gonna do a little piracy here and we're gonna heal real quick. We're gonna use them. Or, oh god. I'm way too close to this fort. Hold on. I'm not ready for this. I gotta heal. <clears throat> I found bootleg DVDs of Netflix RA. Who? Like, like on eBay, like people buying bootlegs? Because I don't know who's buying that show. Maybe the curious. The people that, that can't help their curiosity. I wasn't even trying to fight him. I'm trying to... Yeah, that's what I'm trying to fight. Excuse me. Oh, no. I didn't... I'm surrounded on all sides. I might have bit off more than I could chew here right now. But... Let's go. I, I really should have done this at full health. <laughs> I did not realize that I was sailing into a situation where I was completely surrounded on all sides. Hey, you know what? At least I get full health now, right? There you go. Now I'm ready. Got my full health back. Hell yeah. The Flash show ended? Like, it, it's over over? Like, the series? How was the finale? I, have, I don't remember the last episode I saw that show. I fell off. Honestly, all those CW shows I didn't really stop. Did Gotham Knights end already? Is that still going? Awful show. <clears throat> Had that badass one work out for you? Well, I mean, at least, at least I went out in a blaze of glory, alright? My ship sucked, but at least I I, I, I I took some wood planks with me from the other boats. At least a couple planks. Oh. I crashed into an island. Oh, shit. Where the hell did this guy come from? <laughs> I gotta go. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. I gotta focus on this fight. Oh, no. All the backup is coming. Man, they're really defending this fort, huh? Makes me curious what they're hiding here. Now I need it more than ever. At least the storm's helping me out a little bit. It gave me a little bit of an angle there. Oh man, we're gonna strap in for a fight. Look at the numbers compared to mine. I gotta back up a little bit. I didn't resupply mortar either. Huge mistake. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, you're gonna pay for these repairs now, dick. Let's get these repairs. Last episode I saw was from the Savitar season? Who's Savitar? I don't even remember who that is. I think the last one I saw was, um... It's when, uh, the, the Flash... I don't know what Godspeed. I think uh, the Flash in the white suit. I think it's, like, when that started. But that's, like, I completely fell off after that. Savitar... Who was Savitar? I think I saw that, but I don't remember who that was. Season 3 looked like Megatron? What were his, like, power? Oh, man, I don't... The name sounds familiar, but I can't remember him. God, that was forever ago. That's why. I still watched it then, too. <laughs> Repair the jackdaw, please. I, I love how all these other ships are so polite. That they waited while I boarded and attacked this one, and now they're waiting for me to finish repairing my own ship. For them to continue the battle. 
we all know you watch every new episode of Gotham Knights. I didn't even know that show existed, and it, it, that was still production until you reminded me. So who's watching it now? Not me. Oh shit. All right, come on, man. I just repaired this thing. But you know what? If you'd like, it could use more repairs. So if they'd like to provide those repairs, that's on them. Oh, God. I gotta get out of here. Uh, there's too many boats. I, I gotta get on that other boat over here. There's another one I can board. I'm gonna I'm gonna repair. I just gotta get away from these dicks that are harassing me. They they this had to happen in the middle of the storm, huh? Right in the middle of the storm they had to do this. It's okay, that's okay. Here we go. Oh, right when I was about to board. Uh, well, that's not good because I need to repair. So I got to get to that other side. Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. All right, all right, all right. Please don't sink it. Please don't sink it. I just, I just need, I need, I need their repair. Turn, turn, turn. This is absolute chaos. No, they're gonna sink it. No, you saw what they're doing? All the boats I was gonna board to repair myself with, they sank it. That had to have been on purpose. <laughs> they're all after me. Look, they're all after me. Oh dear. <laughs> Just like eating 10 wheels of cheese in the middle of a sword fight in Skyrim, yeah. It's very polite. This is a... Ooh, this is a very bad situation. This must be 2023 AI, right? They're like, oh, he's gonna repair himself. Sink those ships. No! That fort's not even that strong. It's... It's the fact that I'm getting just assaulted by multiple ships all at once. This is bad. Because normally I'd be like, all right, let me just hit and like run away and then come back. But like I said, there's several of them. I should have refilled my mortars. Too late now, I'm in the middle of combat. Oh, look, look, this one's getting cut off from the rest. I got, I got to separate them. And I got to create some distance. Nope. <laughs> I wonder if I can attack this fort without drawing their attention. Because there's so many of them guarding that. We need a butt clutch or Captain Akbar emoji. That's a trap. All right, look, see, they're not even there. Look, they're not there now. Can I please attack without trouble now? I might be able to now. Look. The boats aren't there. Hmm. Or I could take out the boats before I attack. That's another option. That way I, I have repairs ready to go. And I can ensure that I'm not harassed while I'm fighting. Let's see. See, look, they got no backup now. And I'm not in the middle of a stupid storm. This might work now. I just can't have them harassing me. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you got no help now, huh? How's that feel? I crashed that same island that I crashed into before. Oh, 
storm again. There we go. I don't want to accidentally run into one of the boats. Yes! Alright, one of these damn cannons is gone. Any boats harassing me? No, we're good. We're good. We're good. They only have three more defenses left. I have this in the bag, unless the storm messes me up. Oh no, look, look, oh no! They're coming. I gotta take this fort out. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Backup's here. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 don't sink it, don't sink it. They didn't sink it. I got to them before they sank it. You saw that though? They aimed right at it. They were preventing me from coming over here. They thought they were. Holy crap. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. There you go. Fox has got a butt clutch. Substitute. I think that works. Very interesting. That is a very good butt clutch. And it's a stock emoji. I got this in the bag now. Because now I could repair my ship. I could recommence my attack on the fort. And after that, I claim ownership of the Caribbean. There you go. Surrender. Beg for mercy. Repair, please. Thank you. Tis mine. Alright. Now, we re-engage. Let's go. I gotta destroy that fort before backup arrives, and it's right around, literally around the corner. Damn, they are, they are, okay, they are very close. I could do a speed run, just like try to fly by real quick and destroy it. All right, let's do that. Maybe, they, maybe they won't see me. No, they see me. They only have one defense left. I can do this real quick. I just hit a ship. Yeah, that's it, okay. Goodbye. Yes! Final fort down. I just gotta take it for myself now. It's so satisfying. That unlocks the whole Caribbean map. Excuse me, the battle's over. Go away. You know what? You want some of this? Let's go. Let's go. You asked for this. Maybe I shouldn't cause trouble. Maybe I should just go to the... I can't dock yet, though, because I'm being harassed. Well, I guess I'm going to have to fight. Yeah, he ran me hard. <laughs> there you go, there you go, there you go. Revenge! They're not even worth boarding. You know what? Revenge. They're not going to get boarded. They're not going to repair my ship. They're not going on my fleet. They're not going to lower my wanted level. They are going straight to the bottom of Davy Jones' locker in style. So, here we go. Davy Jones, I have a special delivery for you. 
Uh... <laughs> oh, I thought that'd be more dramatic. Well, yeah, yeah. screw you. That was a very light crash. My ram's not strong enough to be so dramatic yet. But you know what? There they go. To the bottom of Davy Jones' locker. Good riddance. Oh, come on. Oh, we gotta do, like, parallel parking here? Last fort. And now my kingdom will be established. The rule of Kenway begins. Until I leave my life of piracy behind. Alright. Uh, someone down here needs killing. Too far. It's okay. I'll be back. That guy's floating. And he... He killed himself. I didn't have nothing to do with that. The jackass just jumped off. Can't wait to see if you tackle the spike pits of Blasphemous too. my god. You know there's going to be a bunch of them too. It's going to piss me off. I remember when you sent me that April Fool's Blasphemous crap with, with, with all the spikes. I swear I thought that was real. I was about to panic. It might as well have been real. They love spikes in that game. <clears throat> Alright, see you later, Tucker. No! Two more chests, one more officer. I would have paid money to see your face watching that. Dastardly. That's what that is. Dastardly. Excuse me. They're hiding treasure from me again. Where's the other fort officer? Oh, the jackass is down here? Well, okay then. What the hell was that? Edward completely missed. That dude went flying. Legit, he went flying for miles. It's over! Can't climb from up here? I believe I can. Still laugh thinking about you trying over and over to figure out a room out when a save point was literally in front of you. Wait, in what? In Blasphemous? Alright, you are the final one. I will let you live. Or will I? <laughs> I claim this Caribbean as my kingdom. Excellent. See, look at that. It's all mine. All of it. God, look at all those little collectibles popping up everywhere. That's like, that's your gamer OCD. Like, your gamer ADHD kicks in. You're like, oh, overload. Yeah, look at that. See? We got, we got all the Caribbean here. Beautiful. Very beautiful. I think, I think that actually might be a good stopping point. Because today we did a lot of, we did some main missions. 
We did some Templar hunts. We took over the Caribbean, at least the forts. And then next time what we'll do, I think what we'll start is do some more of the Templar hunts and then do more main missions. And that'll get us to like the second close to the end of the main game. That'll get us there. You know what I want to try though? Actually, before people start logging off, I want to try that redirect feature. Let me see who's streaming right now. Let's see. Let's test this out tonight. And as a reminder, uh, Monday, no stream because my son's birthday. So I'm going to be spending time with him uh, Tuesday instead. We're going to do Dragoon. And members all the schedule up. Uh, let me see if anyone I know is streaming, actually. There might not be. What about Severe? Severe on streaming? Doesn't he usually stream on Friday nights? He is not streaming. I don't know if I know anyone that's streaming currently. So I might not be able to test this out. Mm, all right, let's see. Live. DSP Gaming. DSP Gaming is streaming. No, we are not. We are not rating DSP Gaming. Kid, who are, these aren't even channels I'm subscribed to. I think it's just showing me random channels. Well, I guess we, um, yeah, I guess we won't test this tonight. <clears throat> favorite moments when you didn't look up save states in Shantae. I, I had no idea that had save states. Sorry it was a dud to be trying yesterday. Well, at least next time if you're streaming and I'm on uh... Let me check one more time here. Alright, let's see. Channel. Yeah, no. Nobody I know streaming right now. Subscriptions. Wait a minute, hold on. Actually, oh, never mind. Severe was streaming four minutes ago. He's done though for the evening, I guess. All right. Well, we'll try it next time. I'm sure, next time someone else will be streaming. That's fine. For now, uh, my computer's talking. For now, we'll cut it there. <clears throat> so, everyone, enjoy your weekends. I will see you again on Tuesday, 7 p.m. Eastern time for the Legend of Dragoon stream number two. So, I'll see you there Tuesday. Not Monday, Tuesday. So, yeah, enjoy your weekends. Peace. Oh, wait, hold on. Super chat. Hercules, $5. Thank you very much. I thought I... Yeah, I almost left. I thought I heard the old man say, Lever, Johnny Lever. Tomorrow you will get your pay and it's time for us to leave. Oh, I was supposed to sing that as a shanty. I love that song, though. But yes, thank you for the $5 at the end there. Very much appreciate it. I got you down. Tuesday. Dragoon. Be there.